All right, that's better, much better quality. Let me see. Yep, yep, yep. I just want to make sure I can hear myself. Uh, yeah, it's way better quality. Hold on. All right, that's better. So, NVIDIA. NVIDIA streaming uh, app. What is it? Well, it's not really a software that you directly stream from. It's really like an add-on. Add-on that you use that can be implemented to your OBS or your Elgato, Avermedia, what have you, Streamlabs, whatever capture card software you have, you can implement uh, NVIDIA Streamlabs. Another cool feature about NVIDIA Streamlabs is you can also use, um, you don't need a green screen. You just need some light and you can remove the background so you don't you don't even have to purchase a green screen now of course having a green screen it's always the best as you can see a little bit of a ghosting behind me that's because there's no green screen um but this is not bad for those of you who don't have a green screen who you know are not really heavily invested into streaming and um it works pretty good so far so good let me uh, do a single race here. Let's just see uh, how well it runs. We'll go to Tokyo. The usual. And we'll do it during the rain. We'll go with, uh, let me see. We'll go to golf. That's fine. I think this is a pretty cool feature for those of you who don't want to invest too much money into... Um, I like the green screen, the lighting, and all that. So, like here I am right now in my in my bedroom, and you know, there's just bed there. Uh, the green, there's no green screen. I'm not using green screen. Uh, just using some regular light that I have in the bedroom and. Uh, it works just fine. No issues. You guys should definitely give this a try. Just look for NVIDIA Broadcast. Uh, that's, that's what it's called, NVIDIA Broadcast. And you can start, you know, streaming without buying a green screen because green screen can be what 150 bucks depending what type of green screen you get right if you get the Elgato one it can cost you over a hundred something bucks so this works you know let's say you're somewhere uh, let's say you're somewhere on the road right in a hotel room like, okay let's say you're traveling right and you're in a hotel room and you want to live stream or whatever uh, guess what you don't need a green screen. You don't have to carry a green screen with you. Uh, you can use NVIDIA Broadcast and uh, you're good to go. I mean, I personally recommend using a real green screen. But hey, this is a pretty cool option. If you don't have uh, the luxury to carry a green screen with you, let's say you're moving somewhere, traveling, you on the road um, and you need to do a live stream for whatever reason uh, you can use the Nvidia broadcast man it's pretty cool and runs great here I am with my uh, PlayStation um, is it the best option well I don't know I mean 
it works even with uh, no green screen it works you know the chroma key um, you can still see that uh, there's a square behind me you know a little bit of an outline but it works it works And this is at 60 FPS um, that I'm live streaming right now, 1080p 60. Now I'm using just a listen. I'm using minimal. Uh, so obviously, I'm not in my studio. I'm not in my office, but I'm using a minimalistic, minimal stuff like this headset, Razer headset with a microphone, uh, HD 1080p uh, C920 camera. Like your your like regular entry level standard stuff, and uh, you see you can do it. You know you don't have to go out crazy to to live stream. You know I think anyone can do it these days. Now if you want the quality, then you got you got to go with obviously uh, a PC capture card. Uh, the studio lights, the green screen, the uh, microphone, much better microphone, professional microphone, stuff like that. But hey, this this can get the job done. I mean, I have no really problem. <laughs> Even if I was to live stream like this, I could do it. I remember my first um, video of live streaming back in 2014. Uh, was it 2014 or 2013? Could have been 2013. I think it was 2013. Um, I remember when I did my first live stream. It was like a dog shit uh, Logitech camera, Logitech uh, microphone. It was just not good. But hey, I did it and it worked. Uh, people were able to hear me. People were able to see me and it worked. You know, so even PewDiePie, when he started his channel, dude, he started with like uh, some dog shit uh, camera and, and microphone. Even Ninja started with like a crappy microphone and, and camera. So you don't have to invest too much money to start live streaming. You can do it just like this. There's nothing wrong with this. Uh, NVIDIA NVIDIA broadcast is free you don't have to pay for it you just download the app think of this app like an add-on that goes to your OBS uh, software broadcast or your uh, Elgato or Avir Media Streamlabs whatever you have think of this like an add-on that you can use uh, and it works works just fine And most people will probably think that I'm in my office, like in my studio. And obviously I'm not. Uh, and I think that's what makes it so cool. I'm actually in my laptop. <laughs> I'm on my laptop, my Alienware laptop, and boom, here I am. All I did connected my PlayStation to it through uh, Elgato Capture Card, and here I am. playing Gran Turismo. I don't know if YouTube is notifying you guys. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. 
it's possible they might have put me on like a very low algorithm you know YouTube has a lot of bullshit going on lately with their you know politics and stupid fucking rules that they put in place it's almost like some kind of a fascist um, company they're censoring people they're putting people way down below on like a very low algorithm where no one can find you and shit like that um it's becoming almost i mean unless you are unless you're a sponsored whore which we all know who these sponsored whores are out there kiss asses uh out there living in a la la land okay those hardcore lefties you know these these radical motherfuckers out there kissing ass sucking dick all the way from fucking la to san francisco and seattle uh, but I'm talking about like a regular Joe, regular Mary, people out there who are just trying to uh, share the content, put something out there. Do YouTube, it's toning that down. They're not allowing any kind of like uh, different opinion being put out there. Uh, even the, uh, what was it? There was a video uh, that I wanted to see. Uh, from Joe Rogan and uh, my God, it was recently he had a guest on. Uh, I forgot his name. Anyway, but I couldn't find that video. It was available on the uh, Spotify, but only for a little bit, and then they removed it. So. Ah, oh, don't worry, you already did that. Uh, yeah. We all know that you do that all the time. Don't worry. Actually, you're already doing it right now. Get out of here, man. Dude, get the fuck out of here. I've been, you know, waiting for you motherfuckers to show up at my door. No one's fucking showing up. So, come on, let's go. Dude, why don't you get a life, man? Just get a life, do something with your fucking life, you know. Or... Come see me, man. Let's go. You're hiding. I'm not hiding. So let's go. Let's fucking do it, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man. We're not going to play this game. Listen, all you motherfuckers out there in the fucking West Coast and whatever the fuck you are, I'm not playing your fucking game. Mm -mm. Not going to play your fucking game. Go suck in your mama titties. That's what you can do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to play your fucking games. Uh-uh. Don't think you're getting under my skin. Uh-uh. You're not. I'm getting under yours. You coming here, motherfucker. You coming here to see me. When I fucking click on to stream, you drop what you're doing and you come to see me. You're my bitch. I keep you in my fucking pockets. You do what I tell you to do. And everybody can see it here. So fuck off. But no. Become a member. Give me the $5. And then I can block you. And then you come back member again. Give me another $5. And then I block you again. How about that? That's what we're going to do. I'm not going to play your stupid fucking games. the fuck out of here if you want to know hey you want to meet let's go dude give me your fucking address let's go meet let's do it if you got a fucking problem with me let's go fucking do it other than that shut the fuck up nobody fucking cares nobody gives a shit don't worry i don't care where you are in fucking europe i'll find you in europe dude i'll shit down your fucking throat till the end of fucking time shit down your fucking throat and make people watch you me shitting on your fucking throat. So fuck off. Yeah, what's up? You can't say anything? Yeah, you're making a new fucking account? Go make your fucking new account. Go ahead. Piece of shit. 
Oh, how about this? Why don't you do a Google Hangout while you're making your fucking account? Make a Google fucking Hangout. Let me see your fucking face. Let's go. Even though I know who you are. Let's go, piece of shit. You're not going to do it. You don't think I have a VPN? Everybody has VPN. But fuck your VPN. I already know where you are. I already know where you fucking live. But I don't give a shit. Motherfucker. Yeah, keep laughing. One of these days you're going to bump into me. But keep fucking laughing, motherfucker. Keep fucking laughing. I'm not going to be laughing for too fucking long when you bump into me. You're going to wish you never fucking bump into me. So keep fucking laughing. Keep hiding there in your little fucking closet. Motherfucker. I, I, hope, I pray to God for your own fucking sake. You never run into me. For your own fucking sake. And your friend's fucking sake. I'm not American. I'm fucking Bosnian. I'm going to shred you into pieces, dude. Into fucking pieces with nothing left of you and your fucking friends. So fuck off. I hope for your sake, motherfucker, never bump into me. Pray to God you never bump into me. Do that every fucking day. Pray and hope. Even when you are 90 years old, pray and hope, motherfucker. Fuck off, dude. No, I'm not going to play your fucking stupid games. No, no. You're going to have to become a member. That's how we're going to do this. Yeah, you never mind. You fucking become a member. Pay me fucking $5. And then I block you. And then you come back again. I'll make money off of your sorry fucking ass. Till you show up and meet me in person. And then we'll fucking talk. And then you're going to find out what I can fucking do, motherfucker. I'm just my own fucking business, live streaming here. If you got a problem with me, dude, tell me where you want me to meet me. Tell me where the fuck you live. I don't then fuck off, dude. Fuck the fuck off. No one gives a fuck. Seriously, tell me right now. I'll fucking meet you. Tell me right now, where the fuck do you live, motherfucker? So I can come and visit you. And end this bullshit once and for all. I, like I said, pray to fucking God. You never bump into me. Pray to fucking God. Pray to him. He might give you mercy. I don't fucking want. So pray for him. I got nothing to lose, motherfucker. You messing with somebody who's got nothing to lose. You, you got everything to lose. So keep that in fucking check. Keep that in fucking check next time you bump into me. I have nothing to lose. You have everything to fucking lose. Keep that in check. I don't worry about the consequences. I don't give a fuck about the consequences. You give a fuck about consequences. So motherfucker, tell me where you live. Other than that, shut the fuck up. I'm not going to play this fucking game. From now on, it's going to be a member chat. Unless you want to have the fucking balls to find, to meet me in person, it's the only way you're going to get my fucking attention. The only fucking way is if you show me your fucking face in person, in fucking person. It's the only way you're going to hear me next time talking to you. It's the only fucking way. Other than that, pay, motherfucker. Pay $5 to come to my chat. Yeah, go ahead. Become a member now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pay. 
Go and pay, motherfucker. Pay. Pay, pay. All right, let's see. Are you going to fucking pay? Or are you going to fucking just uh, sit there and watch me? Good. Sit and watch. Maybe you learn something in your fucking life. Maybe you learn how to do a fucking broadcast. Piece of shit. Maybe you learn how to use NVIDIA broadcast. I uh, Seriously, I hope to you for your fucking sake. Whoever the fuck you are. For your fucking sake. You never fucking bump into me. Ask people who know me. For your fucking sake. You don't bump into me. You're going to fucking wish you were never born. That your mother whore never gave a fucking birth to you in a fucking trash can. She should have left you there in a fucking trash can. That's what she should have fucking done. You fucking low lives, you motherfuckers. Cancers of fucking society. I bring the fucking flamethrower and burn the entire fucking of all of you motherfuckers. I would cleanse every single one of you. Of this fucking planet. Cleanse. Every single one of you. Cleanse. The fucking cancer. You're lucky I'm not in charge. you fucking lucky I'm not the president. Fuck. Just count your fucking blessings. You want the real devil? You're looking at him. Right here, motherfucker. So fuck off. Come see me. Knock on my fucking door. It's been seven fucking years. Come see me. Let's go. I'm sure you saved the money to buy a fucking plane ticket. Or maybe to open your fucking Google Hangout account. Come on, piece of shit. Let's go. So remember, the only way you're going to get response from me. I sw- Listen to me. Listen to me very fucking carefully, you piece of shit. Keep laughing, motherfucker. Don't worry. I'll let the God worry about that for you. But you keep fucking laughing, motherfucker. Okay? Everything what comes around goes around, piece of shit. Just listen to me very fucking carefully. You pray to God that you never bump into me. That's number one. Number two, the only way pieces of shit diarrhea like you, the only way I'm going to respond to you is when I meet you in person. Other than that, you're going to have to pay. Pay $5 to fucking access my member chat. Pay fucking $5 is the only fucking way you're going to be able to, to even enter. And when you pay $5, become a fucking member, I block you, and you come back again with your another fake account, become a member, and pay and pay and continue fucking paying, piece of shit. All that money you fucking stole, pay, you fucking lowlife, piece of shit. Keep that fucking check. I don't give a fuck where you are. India, New Delhi, I don't give a fucking rat's ass who you are. You could be the God himself. I'll tear him in pieces too. So fuck off. All right. Where is the members? Okay. What do you, what is it? You guys want to learn about this or what? Do you want to learn about the fucking NVIDIA or what? Which is it? Let me fucking know right now. Do you want to learn or not? Do you want to fucking find out about NVIDIA or not? Which is it? Don't talk behind my fucking back. Tell me fucking right now. Stop fucking being two-faced. Tell me fucking right now. Which is it? Do you want to learn or you don't want to fucking learn about NVIDIA broadcast? Which fucking is it? No, fuck you guys. Fuck, you know what? Fuck all of you. Big and small. Fuck you. Every fucking one of you. Fuck all of you. How's that? Go fuck yourselves. Go unsubscribe. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. You can only dream to be on my fucking level. You're never going to be on my fucking level. You know what you are? You fucking pussy. You fucking pussy. All of you. A bunch of fucking pussies. Hiding in the fucking corners. Pretending that you like something you don't like. You have no fucking balls to do shit. That's why people beat the shit out of you on the fucking street. Because you can't defend yourself. Because you're fucking beta. You're fucking pussy. No one fucks with me on the fucking streets. Do you know why? No one fucks with me on the fucking streets? Because they know I mean fucking business. I don't fuck around. 
That's why no one fucks with me. So fuck off. Just let me know. You don't want me to do a fucking YouTube? I'll fucking won't do it anymore. What, you fucking let me know. What do you want to do? What do you guys want to do? Do you want to learn something? Or you don't? Or what is it? If you're just coming here to fuck around and fuck you. Let me know. What's up? Everybody fucking quiet? Quiet? Go become a fucking member. Let's go. Become a fucking member. Go. Become a fucking member, piece of shits. Let's go, you pussies. You low life. You ghetto fucking low life. Motherfucker. Fuck you. Go. Pay, motherfucker. Pay. Let's go. Any day now, motherfucker. Low life. Piece of shit. Trash. And you too, motherfuckers, too. You redneck cocksuckers with your fucking big ass pieces of shit diesel trucks. Fuck you and your fucking double tire trucks. Fuck you, truck. Fuck you, truck. Fuck you, beard. Fuck you. And fuck your fucking land, too. And your fucking shotgun and your fucking assault rifle. Fuck you. Why don't you put your fucking mouth into and suck on it? What do you that, Mr. Urban? Uh, you don't want to know. It's better if you don't want to know. But anyway, you can watch from the beginning. You can watch from the beginning. This is how it's going to be from now on. You have to become a member. You have to pay for it. You have to pay for it to, to, to come to my fucking chat room. Yeah. Come on, Mr. What's your name? Robert Jackson. Let's go. Let's go. Pay for it, motherfucker. Come back with your other fake accounts. Pay. Pay. This is how it works. You pay. I block you. And you come back again. You pay. And I block you again. So continue paying. And I'll block you. Let's go. Come on, man. Since you got a fucking hard on for me, let's go. You accomplished nothing, asshole. All you accomplished is nothing, motherfucker. But like I said, you better pray and hope for to God or whatever out there that you don't bump into me in real life. Just pray and hope for your sake. Keep laughing, motherfucker. Keep laughing. What goes around comes around, motherfucker. Yeah, stupid fucking trolls, man. Pieces of shit, man. And I should have put this on a member. But anyway, fuck them. I get paid. I'm getting paid. You click, I get paid. Doesn't matter. You didn't achieve nothing. You know what you achieved? You made me money. You made me money. Yeah. But now you have to pay also to make me more money. To become a member. You got to do that as well. Why you have a two... Uh, what happened, dude? I think you probably have um, decay, dude. Or something like that. Two decay. You should have that checked out. I'm drinking my tea, bro. This is the, uh, tea commonly known of Sadaf. It's the Persian tea. A really good Persian tea called Sadaf. It's a really good fucking tea. All right, so let's get back to this. I got that taken care of. Sorry about that, guys. I should have, I should have taken care of this a long time ago. Instead, I leave the fucking door open for these cocksuckers to come in. Oh, here's the deal, uh, Mr. Urban. So this is NVIDIA Broadcast. And NVIDIA Broadcast, it's like a add-on application that you implement onto your uh, 
capture software, you know, the capture software like Elgato, um, Streamlabs, OBS. I'm currently using the OBS. Uh, so what you do is you uh, link your NVIDIA broadcast through your camera, through your microphone into the OBS. And here's a cool thing. I'm not using the green screen. There's no green screen behind me. You can just remove the background through chroma key and not have any green screen. All you need is just a little bit of a light, not too much light, but just, you know, decent amount of light. And you can go ahead and uh, there you go. You can start live streaming uh, without any green screen, which is pretty cool, actually, if you ask me. Oh, let's play something else. Let me exit this. Uh, let's play a little bit of Marvel uh, Avengers. And you can connect. Obviously, you're going to need a capture card. you got to have a capture card. I'm using a laptop, and I'm using Elgato uh, capture card. Works just fine. Uh, I'm not sure about that, uh, if you can put any background. I haven't done research on that, um, but I know that you can remove uh, the background. I don't know if you can put any background behind you. I think it's just removing it for now, um, but I have to look into it. I'm not sure. Actually, what you do is it's on your camera. Your camera is the one that uh, does all of that. See, like right now, this is my camera, and I can make it bigger, smaller. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I like it. And it works. The thing is, it works. Let me play NBA 2K21, man. I haven't played this in a while. I want to try it out. I like this. Let me tell you, man. I like this feature. I think it's pretty cool. Um, hey, uh, Mr. Urban. So what happened, dude? Are you going to... Um, are you going to get the quest? I think you should get a quest, man. You should get a quest, uh, too. Do you know why? Here's what I was thinking. On Thursday... Um, there is this game called um, Population One. It's like a Battle Royale, Fortnite uh, type of a game where you go in and you do essentially the same thing you would do in PUBG and Fortnite. The only difference is it's in VR. And I thought how cool it would be because you don't need a computer. You just need a quest. You just need a quest too. Uh, if you got the quest to, and Mamba got the quest to, for you know you can get the three hundred dollar quest. It doesn't have to be the four hundred dollar one. And we all can play, dude. We all can. Perfect. Hey, how about you gotta add me, dude? You, I gotta send you a. Let me know. Where's Mamba, man? I haven't seen Mamba. Uh, I've been trying to reach him. Uh, if you see Mamba, hey, let him know. I've been uh, I've been trying to get in touch with him. I know, I know what's going on. Maybe he's on vacation or something. I don't know. I know. Um, there's my career. Hold on. Is this me? Hold on. Which one is me? I. Oh yeah, this is me. Sharpshooter Huskies. I think this is me.
That's I think that's the best version to go with. The only reason I went with a 256 is because of the movies. I I have tons of movies. You know what I mean? I have like a uh, hold on a sec. Ugh. I have like a tons of movies. So I want to put those movies inside the VR headset. You know, and 256 gigabytes. I can put some 3D movies on top of regular movies. So let's say if I'm traveling somewhere, if I am on the trip somewhere, I can put that on, fire up uh, what you call that software. Uh, what's that? D D O V R D O V R software or Skybox or what what have you, and I can watch those movies from there you know i don't even have to be connected to the internet that's a cool thing you can access those movies whatever you are put on put on the vr headset kick back relax and enjoy so but i just thought it would be cool if me and you would join up on thursday and we play uh or friday and we play the population one the game it's 29 dollars uh, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun, dude. Are we going to have a lot of fun playing that shit? Honestly. <laughs> All right, so this is my character. Uh, Higamimi Goulash. Higamimi Goulash. One and only. Welcome everyone to our presentation of college basketball brought to you um, by 2K Sports. I tried it, but it didn't work. It didn't work. Uh, I've been having issues with that uh, game. No, I didn't fall asleep. It's just it didn't work. I tried everything. I don't know. It keep crashing. Um, I don't know what the deal was, uh, to be honest. really a surprise every time. Absolutely. I mean, these players are all improving at a rapid rate. I'll pass the ball. I'm right here, dude. Their careers, and because of that, you can never count out an underdog. Come on, man. They go from 14, and Thompson gets it to go. Boy, Thompson, you have to be mindful of him now in the mid-range. He's got a solid stroke and a good overall skill set at the offensive end. Hayward for three. Oh, they always the make the three, man. Always. Not Such bullshit, much man. Respect shown to him by the defenders. You know, Michigan State has been absolutely dominant in Big Ten play. And, you know, it pains me as a Buckeye to admit that, but that's real talk. I mean, they have been superb and really one of the ah. best programs in the nation. It's a co-op so. uh, paranormal activity. It's like, uh, you know, Ghost Hunters. You ever seen the Ghost Hunters TV show? It's kind of like that. But the only difference is you are playing the ghost hunters. You are one of those paranormal guys, you know, with an electronic device looking for the ghosts, trying to detect the ghosts where they are, and you talk you talking to them through microphone. Now, some people say since you are already talking uh, on a microphone and you are connected to the internet, is it possible that uh, the ghost spirits can hear you anyway? Some people say, I, I mean, who's to say, right? You don't know. But it is, it's is—it's a bit scary because uh, even developers don't know what the AI is going to do, uh, the way it's going to act, react, the way the ghost is going to show up, the way it's going to pop. Um, so uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty scary game. I mean, uh, if you're afraid of dark, if you're afraid of ghosts, and yeah, dude, this shit uh, in VR will scare the shit out of you for sure. Uh, majority of them are scammers, to be honest. I think they're scammers. They're just doing it for, for money. Obviously, it's a big profit. Uh, do ghosts exist? Do spirits exist? I don't know. I mean, who's to, who's to say? Uh, only the dead know that. Uh, the living, obviously, we living, we're in this realm. It's impossible for us to know what's going on in the other realm. We can only know what's happening in this realm. 
in this density, you know. Um, so, I mean, look, I, I keep an open mind on everything. Urban, you know me. I keep an open mind. I've seen some shit I can't explain. I've experienced shit I can't explain. Um... Michigan State, no good that time. Either. And, uh, you know, right now they're just one for five. Rough start. I've so seen far. shit. And I've seen karma right, so front and play. center. You know that karma thing? That shit is real. So, all you motherfuckers out there poking on people who are just minding their own business, watch out for that fucking karma. That shit is real. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about the next guy. Worry about that fucking karma. The shit you can't control. That's what you do, should fucking worry about. Don't worry about me. Worry about that fucking karma. That invisible energy karma. It's what you should fucking worry about. You know, that energy that keeps you going, that keeps you alive, that keeps this whole fucking thing running. That's what you should fucking worry about, motherfuckers. So earn those bad deeds and watch what happens next. What goes around comes around. The karma is fucking really real. That shit is real. I've seen it, bro. I've seen it front and center. So all you motherfucker out there laughing in your little fucking bubbles, keep laughing. Yeah. Keep collecting those bad deeds. Okay? Keep collecting those fucking bad deeds. And, and watch what happens in the future. Mm -hmm. I've seen that shit happen multiple times. <clears throat> But these motherfuckers don't, don't get it. These teenagers, these bourgeois, this this generations of millennials. These this what it is. These fucking millennials. You know, tight fucking pants, skinny, ten pounds, twenty pounds. My bone. It's it's look. My bone inside. It's the size of their fucking arm. Their tiny little bit fucking paperclip. You can push them like this, and they're gonna break. This, this generation of these millennials, it's so fucked up, man. I've never seen such idiots. Retards. Not all, not all, but my God, majority of them. But hey, don't worry about me. Worry about fucking karma. That's what you should worry about. I know who I am. I know what I've done in the past. I don't need to, I don't have to justify myself to anybody but you you know what you fucking done yeah, you should worry about that shit mm -hmm. yeah they're all fucking druggies and motherfuckers and they're so fucking dumb they don't even know what they want to do at least in the 60s hippies knew what they stand for generation in the 70s and the 80s they knew what they fucking stand for this generation, I don't know what the fuck they're standing for. What are you all about? And now they're picking on Ice Cube. Poor Ice Cube. He can work. Let me tell you something. I left a fucking comment on CNN. Listen, Ice Cube can work with whomever, with whomever, whomever. He's a free man. Nobody owns him. Okay? He's a free human being. Nobody owns him. He can work with whomever he wants to work. You don't tell him. Nobody tells him who to work with. And he shouldn't have to explain himself to anybody or any community or anyone. Motherfuckers. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot... Hey, who's that asshole? Who's that fucking asshole? I'm getting tired of him too. You know, that, that guy. Guido, Guido... Pedo, Fido, whatever the fuck his name is. The guy with a with a hundred hundred fake dumbbell doing this, you know. That motherfucker. I'm t getting tired of him too. Fucking yeah, yo. I'm sure his father his father it's rolling in his grave. This is my son? What have I thought these two? At least the other guy, he's a governor. At least he has a little bit of a principle. At least Andrew has a little bit of a principle. 
this guy is just total fucking whack job. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. What a fucking bullshit, man. What a disgrace. Fucking disgrace, man. And now Joe Ro- and Joe Rogan believes him that he's doing this, that he's using the real 100-pound dumbbell doing this, you know. <sighs> Joe, seriously, Joe, maybe it's real. No, it has to be real. Maybe he's really, no, he's not powerful. He's not that strong. He's not a Superman. I can defeat, and I mean, Chris Como. I'll fight him for free, for free. For free. With one hand tied behind my fucking back. He's an actor. He plays an actor on a fucking television. He's a fucking actor. They're all actors. Pretending. Juicing up. Putting the fucking performance enhanced drugs. You can't do that shit naturally. It has to be a performance enhanced drug. And you're Dwayne Johnson as well. They're all fucking actors. Pretending. That's what they do. They pretend, motherfuckers. Get it to you, stupid fucking thick head. That's what they do. They pretend. And you buy right into it. Dumb motherfuckers. Fucking stupid generation. And Joe, out of all the people, Joe Rogan. (sighs) Fuck, man. And he should know better. Joe Rogan, you work out. You're the mixed mix martial artist. You should know better. That's not a real dumbbell. Dumb. George Carlin, listen, George Carlin was right. I love this country. I wouldn't live anywhere else, but my God, we got some dumb motherfuckers. Dumb motherfuckers floating around this fucking country. You know, just take a pen and pencil. Just write down the the dumb motherfuckers you bump into every fucking day. Those Billy Bob Joe six-packs. My daddy, my daddy says, fuck your daddy, Billy Bob Joe six-pack. You're not six anymore. You're more like fucking 60. (sighs) And what's with a fucking cowboy hat? Let's get rid of that shit too. What the fuck is this shit? It's not Halloween 365 days a year. How about the Vikings? Should Vikings wear their fucking armor too? How about the Romans? Should wear their fucking armor as well and the masks and Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, man. That's it. Aliens, you got to come down here. It's, it's getting worse. No, not worse. It's, it's, this is the end game. You guys have to come here next year. Aliens, you have no choice. You got to fucking come down here. You got to fix this shit. I don't know what you got to do. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. Put some shit into our mind while we sleep at night. Whatever the fuck you got to do, do what you got to fucking do. Do your best. Do what you got to fucking do. But it's getting... I I don't know how we're going to survive another fucking 10 years. (laughs) Another 10 fucking years. The way things are going. Confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Anyway, let's get back to uh, Mr. Higamimi Goulash. Maybe he can save us. His name is Junior, but he's a Higamimi Goulash. That's his nickname. Pass to Thompson. Porter. That shot's good on the assist by Red Thompson. Good recognition there from Thompson, sizing up the defense and getting it to a wide open player. I think you'll see in November, man. You know, I think you'll see in November. Spartans, the group is always unselfish, and they play hard and tough. And I think you've got to give a lot of credit to both the players and the coaching staff. They kind of hold each other accountable. This team puts the team before anything. You look at the players they've had. Oh, Ryan son of a bitch. Denzel Valentine, Magic Johnson. They are all great team players. And it's Harvey with the jam. Excellent assist there. Just led him to the... I saw a video the other day. I saw a video. Uh, I shared it on my Facebook. Uh, two, two bears. Two Kodiak pup bears. And let me tell you, man. The animals... I would rather live with a fucking... I would, I would live in a... In a listen, I'm going to move to forest. Fuck it. 
I mean, forest and nature and animals are much smarter and have more principles than uh, than we do. I mean, really. Uh, if you really dig deep down, if you really go dig deep down and you look at our history, man, please tell me uh, anything great that we have. Sure, we've done some things here and there to uh, be more civilized, but deep down, to, when you get to the deep down of the DNA, I can't score shit. But when you get deep down to the core of our DNA, ah, dude, there's really nothing, uh, nothing good. Really, nothing good about us, man. Let's look what we do. We behead people. We eat people. Uh, we kill people. We we kill each other. We rape each other. We even rape our own dead corpses. Um, what 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 don't we fucking do as humans? What don't we fucking do? It's really hard for anyone to have any sympathy out in the universe to out for us when they look at us when they observe us. They really they can't have any sympathy. It's impossible for them to have any fucking sympathy for this fucking disaster of failed failed experiment, and they need to fix this failed experiment. This is a failed experiment. How many, how many thousands of years failed experiment? It's a failed experiment, and they have to correct it. I don't know why they haven't corrected it yet. I don't know what's going on. I know they're out there. I don't know what they're doing. I really don't know, guys. I really don't know. What it, what 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 they're waiting for? What's the end game? I have no fucking clue. You know. <laughs> Even cockroaches are more united, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Even cockroaches are more united. And they're going to survive. Listen. Cockroaches will survive. They're the only species that are going to survive. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. The city that never sleeps, speaking of New York and the Yukon Huskies basketball program. Pass to Fletcher. Here's Beasley. Now Scott. Now here's Smith. Launches a three. And the Huskies another three. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed have come oh, yeah. from beyond. Some, somebody's getting eaten right now. Somebody's getting eaten right now as we speak. Maybe alive. Some people get off on that. Oh, let me see how he looks at me when I eat, when I cook, when I take his flesh and I cook it. And he looks at me and I keep him alive so he can see me watch his flesh. There's some fucked up mother... Dude, there's some mania. I mean, sick. Sick. Sick, sick. Beyond sick. Beyond help. I don't know what I don't know if I would call them humans. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what we are. What we are. Are we the lizard people? I don't know what the fuck we are. We have three valves in our heart. Maybe we are lizard descendants. Maybe the lizards are controlling this shit. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? I just know something's fucked up here. Something's wrong here. Something's very wrong here. Hmm. Anybody else who says otherwise, kiss my ass and stop being ignorant. Something is very fucking wrong here. Super fucking wrong here. This is not. This is not how we should supposed to live. There's something in our DNA that's been tempered with. And not all, I'm not saying everybody, I'm not saying everyone, but when you look at statistics, statistics uh, from past thousand years, there's definitely something fucked up here. Something's wrong here, man. You know, what's really impressive is how often the Spartans... Me too, man. Honestly, when, when I didn't know, honestly, this whole internet access of information uh, just made it worse. Especially with the cell phones. Anybody can call me whenever the fuck they want. Any jack-off can, can call me and text me and whatever. 
Um, first shot, first I miss the days where there were, when you have to use dial, you know, those phones where you have to like spin it around with the numbers. Um, 80s were the best. Listen, um, I was talking to a hip hop gamer uh, the other day. It was the last week. I'm sorry. Um, 80s were the best, man. I'm not saying they were perfect. Of course, 80s were not perfect. There was, you know, mafia. There was crime. There was drugs. Uh, there was some other shit going on. Uh, there were tensions between us and Soviet Union. I get that. But, man, it was definitely a better fucking time. Way better fucking time to live than this shit right now. That's that's sad, bro. Same thing with my uh, with with my relatives. I'll, when they need something, hey, uh, would you mind helping me uh, clean the garage? Would you mind helping me paint the garage? Or would you mind helping me uh, move some stuff out? Thanks, man. All right, cool. Now get out of here. Did you help me clean it? Oh, get get out of here. Everyone's yeah, selfish, man. Just, Everyone's just... That's why no one's held... Listen, no one is happy because they're being selfish. They're only thinking about themselves. The money. I want everything myself. The selfishness, it's evil. And people are so being poisoned by this evil cloud. That's why I see all this shit happening, man. People are being possessed. I don't know who is doing it. I don't know who is doing all this magic tricks... Uh, but someone's doing it, and someone's doing a hell of a great fucking job of poisoning people with this evil shit, possessing people with this evil. People say, what do you mean evil? Well, evil means lying, cheating, manipulating, controlling, and being selfish. That's evil. That's a form of evil. It's in the Bible. You can read it. It's, it's, it's there. It's in the Testament. Okay. Thou shall not. It's all there. All right? So if you're looking for some like a biblical reference, well, you can find it there. All right? Even in the Old Testament, it's there. Even in the new one, you'll find it. It's there. So uh, bottom line is, people have been possessed by evil. And you see it every day. Especially these celebrities, the way they're being possessed. Uh, people in general, they're just looking out for themselves. Ooh, look at me. Look how I look. I want them to worship me. Being worshipped, it's also a, a form of evil. You want to be worshipped. That's why these celebrities, they get off on it. They get off on that shit. Because they like being worshipped. Uh, we're so possessed, man. By and, and then politicians. Why do you think they want to be in power? Because power, it's a form of evil. To be in control. To control people. To be above people. I'm above you. I'm a senator. I'm untouchable. I'm above the law. You know. And these lobbyists. Lobbyists, same fucking thing. You know. They're untouchable. They can lobby their way into anything. This is all form of evil, guys. And, and, and I think I understand where this evil is coming from. Uh, when I look at this country, when I look at our separation between uh, the Scottish Rite and uh, the British Empire ro uh, Royals and this new experiment called the Freemasonry, because you guys know this country was designed by Freemasons. Uh, the Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, that thing, it's designed. When you look at from the sky, it's designed uh, perfectly uh, in a certain shape of a symbol in a certain way because that represents this is our home. This is where we are giving birth to a new world, calling a new world meaning United States of America. Uh, so the Freemasons have a lot to do with this shit. Of course, the, the, the queens and the royals and all this other shit, yeah, they, have, they play a hand in there as well. But it's the thing. This is all Freemasons, man. They're playing this. They're playing these cards. They're doing this shit, man. Uh, how do I know this? Because they control everything. They control the government. They control the judges, the ju judicial systems, banks, everything. If you control everything, then who's going to stop you? Ask yourself this question: If you control everything, who the fuck's going to stop you? 
unless everybody wakes up, 300 million people wake up and they realize how badly they got fucked. Maybe that's the only way. I know you guys are laughing. Oh, it's Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Okay. If Alex Jones was so fucking crazy. Now, I'm not saying that I agree with everything that what Alex Jones said. But if Alex Jones was such a crazy guy, then why is he banned? Why is he banned if he's such a crazy lunatic guy? You should laugh at him. Let him say whatever he wants to say. Why is he banned? He's banned because he's gaining momentum. Millions of people. And they don't want millions of people to hear the truth. They don't want that. Me, I'm a nobody. How many people I have here? How many uh, fake subscribers and how many fake whatever? 16. And out of those 16, I have maybe uh, two guys with, uh, eight, uh, with, eight, with, with eight accounts together. Or four accounts together. Uh, they don't give a fuck about me and what I say. They're just, they're just amusing themselves. Even if the Freemason is watching this, he's, he's banging some chick and he's, Oh, this guy, Mr. 4K, you should have become one of us He when he had a chance. He's really amu- I love him. He's amusing. They're laughing their asses off. They don't care what I have to say. But when somebody like Dr. Disrespect who has millions of followers, says something, wake up, wake up. You have to look at the world from the outside of the box to see what's going on and go watch the uh, the other guy. What's his name? Uh, David Icke. Why is David Icke blocked? Banned. David Icke, banned. Alex Jones, banned. Why? If they're so full of shit, I wish that they were full of shit. I wish that they were full of shit. Because if they were full of shit, then life would be great. Our cities wouldn't be burning. There wouldn't be murders, beheadings, and killings, and all this other shit. There wouldn't be this fucking chaos out there. But they're they're, they're telling the truth. And don't get me started with all the missing children. The 411, the missing children. What's up with that? No No one even mentions that. No one wants to talk about that. Listen, man. Uh, I know what I know. I don't give a rat's ass when anybody fucking says they can kiss my ass while I fart. Or actually, they can kiss my ass while I'm having a diarrhea. My hairy ass. I know what I know. And I know what I know that I know it's fucking true. I know it in my spirit that it's fucking truth. Because I met these motherfuckers. I met the. I was approached by these motherfuckers. I even worked for one of them. Did I tell you this, Dietrich? Yeah. I w- but back then I was young. I didn't care. Back then I was, you know, chasing skirts. Didn't care about anything else. What is this apron? What does this mean? I don't give a rat's ass. Some whatever. I thought he was, um, he was from Scotland. You know, like a Scottish, you know, uh, playing a pipes and all that. I didn't know what the fuck the apron was. Okay. What this big ring is for. I didn't fucking ask, but I knew deep down, now I know what the fuck's going on. So, people say, but how come you can do it, Mr. Forke? How come you can get away? Because I'm a nobody. I'm stuck at 30, what was it, uh, 39,000 subscribers since 2013, no, sorry, 2014, seven years They know I'm nothing. It's not bad enough that I'm stuck at fucking uh, 39,000 subscribers after seven years. But at, at the same time, YouTube is putting me at, at the lowest algorithm. The lowest algorithm. You know what that means? That means that no one's going to find my videos. Even if, even if, if, even if you try, you're going to have a difficult time finding some of those videos. I know. But I'm telling you, the sheep, I, please don't get offended. It's not your fault. It's not your fault that you are a sheep. Your parents raised you that way because their parents raised them to think like that. 
Their, your grandfather was raised that way, and he didn't know any better. So your grandfather raised your, your father to think the same thing, to pass on the program. And now they're passing on that program to you. And now you're passing that program, same program you have to your children as well. And that's how it works. That's how it works. Just passing on the program through generations. But anyway, what do I know? I just fucking got born five minutes ago. I got my umbilical cord here. I need to pull it out. What the fuck do I know? Apparently nothing. I can't even make a shot here. Every game he plays, he's maturing more and more. A lot of the skills that take years for most players to master seem to come naturally for him. All right, come on, man. At least make one, please. Just make one. Come on. He oh. doesn't get the second one. Damn it. The Spartans trailing. Here's Kelly, Junior with the block. Well, I tell you, when Junior's blocking shots and putting forth that kind of effort, it's impossible for pass it. Pass the fucking ball. Let's go. And as great as the UConn men's program has been, it is just Foul. a small All right, let me try again. Maybe I get lucky. Women's program. You talk about dominant, excellent championships, 11 titles, and always near the top of the polls on the women's side. They are unlike any other women's program. Oh my god, he cannot put no one. And the Spartans with He got me me goulash. He got me me goulash. You disappoint me. To the wing on the left side. Outside. Damn you, he got me me goulash. Fast to Kelly. Cloud. Jacks up the 3. And the ball out of play. Oh god, he got me me goulash. go here's junior about seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks oh shot a bit long that time they can hold on for the last possession if they want to yeah and i think the way you do it you're patient as you indicated and wait until about the five second mark before you get into your play and he makes that one man can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass. Money. Junior left side. Stolen by... Oh, Hayes. shit. Here's Mills. And it would have counted if it had fallen, but it's offline. And we're through the first quarter of play here and what's been a good one. Dusky's out in front. I'm in line. Three. Fuck, dude. <laughs> But it's it's a Higamimi goulash, you know. He he sucks, you know. What can I tell you, dude? Look look at this unicorn. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. Ha ah, ha ha. Hold on. You should try this, man. So yeah. The first half of play, um, juniors performance stands out. I really want to play with uh I want to play that. Maybe we're expecting too much. What do you think? Jesus Christ, I'm starting to sound like a sleepy Joe. Still plenty of game. Come on, man. Remember. The quest too. And guys, Junior is as raw of a player as they get. Uh, the quest two, I want to play uh, Population recently, One program believes with you, you know and Mamba. Tell Mamba, man, we gotta do this. Goes, Seriously. To this coach no, we gotta do it. Listen, we gotta go to VR chat. We gotta go to big screen VR. Have a little good time. Have some fun. Laugh. You know, for real. You gotta get in touch with Mamba. You gotta say, hey, man, what's going on? I hope he's okay. Uh, I'm worried now, man. I really am. Hayward with it. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about other people. I don't worry about me. Because if I don't hear from other people, I start worrying, dude. A rebound by Webb. Um, you know what I mean? It's a crazy world out now there, dude. Junior. And uh, Fuck. With the you know what I mean? Yes. And 
Reds Jr. picking up the <clears throat> You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Because I, I believe I know what I mean. Grabs the ball there and sends it straight in. Boom. I'm starting to sound like a Sleepy Joe more and more. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to turn into a Sleepy Joe. <laughs> I hope he's okay. Folks, I just want to say, I remember, I believe, when I was, uh, when I was this tiny, I believe, that uh, I was sitting by the lake and uh, 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 this individual approached me and uh, look at my hairy legs and uh, started playing with my hairy legs and uh, <laughs> listen I want to say something about Joe Biden Back in his prime, in his prime, like in 1990, 1994, back in his prime, he was a gangster. Back in his prime. Okay? And I'll never forget that he was the only one that stood up and says, hey, what's going on in Bosnia, it's wrong. We need to stop this fucking killing, this murder, this ethnic cleansing. He was the first one to stand up. And tell to George Bush, the shit needs to end. We got to do something about it. Um, I have I have respect for him back then for for the things that he had done. I know he's not perfect. No, 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 no. I, I get. I know he's not perfect. No one's perfect. I'm not perfect either. Um, but he's old. He is old. It's gonna be the oldest president ever to be elected. And, and, and I'm just, couldn't, couldn't Democrats found somebody younger, fresher, I mean, anybody. And there's so much talent out there they could have picked from. Even Joseph um, Kennedy from the Kennedy family would have been a better choice. I mean, there's so many choices they could have gone with, man. They, they could have picked so many different fresh individuals to turn this country into a much better you know um it's almost like they want this guy to win it's like they want the orange man to win it's almost like you want him to win it it, it looks to me that way like you want him to win for whatever reasons i don't know man i just it's a one big fucking goulash of diarrhea that's what it is all right mr urban you guys know what i mean he's just too old it's like that's why john mccain says i don't want to run again because john mccain knew he was old he was not feeling good he was ill and he was ill you know may he may he rest in peace god bless his soul but you know you gotta know hey man i'm old you gotta know you like look. I I I I've been in 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 government for forty seven years. I've done my duty. I've been a vice president for eight years. I've done my duty. It's time for me to let younger people, new fresh minds, to carry on the torch, to move on and carry on this republic that we created that that's been created for two hundred fifty years plus something years two hundred fifty plus years. There has to be somebody better, man, fresher. That's what I don't get. I don't get that. And if you think he's going to win, you got to be mental. You got to be mental to think they're going to vote for him. You got to be mental. You got to be mental. Anyway, let's go. We need more real talk. That's what's missing today's community. There is no real talk. Everybody just, let me tell him what he wants to hear. Let me tell him what he wants to hear. Everybody's just telling each other what they want to hear. 
so that everybody can go on, live their life, their lives, and pretend there's nothing going on. Everything's hunky dory. Everything's hunky dory. The ignorance is the worst medicine. Let's move on. Still has to be more aggressive there. And the Huskies. <laughs> Thompson, he doesn't give you much on defense, <laughs> but his offense is the same. I'll tell him. Hey, guys, all you trolls out there, now's your chance. You want to mess with someone? Try messing with my, I call him Cyber, Afro Cyber Ninja. Afro Cyber Ninja, try messing with him and see where it takes you. Pass to Beasley. Mr. Urban's a badass. So, yeah. He's at CVS. So, you trolls, now's your opportunity. <laughs> now's your opportunity to do it. Ah, man. This chair is killing me, man. Oh my god, nobody wants to become a member. <gasps> the trolls don't want to become a member. Come on, trolls. Just uh, listen, just pay. Pay $5 and I block you and you come back and you pay again. I think it's a great deal. It's better than maximum settings. Maximum settings charging you at least $20 minimum. I'm going to charge you actually $2 minimum. It's not bad. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. It's a great deal. The best deal ever. I'm telling you. It's the best deal ever. Come on. Damn, Junior. Goodness, what a slam from Junior. Where did that come from? I did not expect to see that tonight. That was a dunk contest level throw down there. He pulled that out of nowhere. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh foul. Who, who made a foul? Who did it? Who did it? Who's the geezer? Who's the geezer? I want to know what the geezer is. Cash me outside. You should tell him. No, Urban. Cash me outside at the CVS. Tell them to cash me outside. Cash me outside now. Cash me outside. Take a break. You Take feel a break. me? You feel me? Cash me outside. Damn, why don't, what did I put in this tea? This shit is good. This shit is fucking great. How about the Connecticut Huskies? Four national titles for this small school on uh, the East Coast. They won it in 99, 04, 2011, and 2014. Jim Calhoun built it from scratch, and they've got a heck of a pedigree now. Where's everyone? What's going on? So he gets them both. Don't and tell me you're watching I.J. Steen special and unique playing with her Xbox. Serious X. Put the team on the map Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Or you watching the snowman? What is the other guy? The snowman always wears that cap. Like he lives in a fridge or something, or in a dairy uh, freezer. I don't know. Don't tell me that. That you're watching the I Justine. Oh, you know. It's a plus five playing with her Sirius X, Triple X, Very steady. Solid Fair State Drive, Solid, really a well with her Solid State Drive. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, on, man. Yeah, Let's go. How about the ball movement there from Webb? Noticing the D's mistake and then making them pay. Now, Junior, outside, Smith. Come on, guys. Let's go. Back to Junior. Pass it, pass it. Smith. Pass it. Back to Junior. Yes! 
with all the shots they've knocked down here in the second half, their field goal percentage has crossed the 50% mark. Yeah, and any team will take that excellent in terms of their efficiency. And Let's go. Even come on, Huskies. Let's do this shit. Possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down. Come on, anyway. come on. With the best college players often leaving without playing the full four years. Yes, I'm playing a PlayStation. See, he disappears and appears. Like a PlayStation, stars. you see? Blink, I'm a PlayStation robot. Dead or alive, you are coming with me. Bzz, 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 bzz. I mean, coaches have to constantly adapt to new rosters. Come on, man. Come on, man. Just come on, man. Come on. Subscribe as a member. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. You're not going to live forever. You do know that, right? You're not going to live forever. Right? Do you need me to tell you you're not going to live forever? Come on, man. Money comes and goes. You can pay. You can pay. Money comes and goes, dude. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pass to Smith. Here's Beasley. Pass it, pass it to him right here. Pass it. Left side. Nice. Lay it in. Young players just have that grown man strength. Come on, taking it right to the defender. Just subscribe. Spartans call time here. Just subscribe. Just do it. Just do it. Don't don't think about it. Just do it. Open the wallet. Do it. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. I can't believe this guy. Come on, man. Subscribe. Come on, Robert Jackson. Let's go. Let's go, Mr. Big Money. Come on. Michigan State making Let's some do changes. it. Become a member. I want to get paid. I want to get paid. Simple as that. Where is he? Uh, hiding. Hiding! A clear look for Hayward. Nice shot from the wing. One thing that makes these games extra special to me is that we could be seeing parts of the future NBA championship team out there. You know, if only you could pick them out, right? Forecast the future a bit. I agree. That question in the back of your mind, is this a future MVP? Adds another layer of interest. It's tough to think about how many nice. players have that dream for themselves, knowing only the very best are going to take that next step and join the league. Oh, man, this goddamn chair. Outside Lambert. A word. Come on, man. Junior grabs the Let's go, Junior. And they've got pass it, pass it. Come on, man. On the scoreboard, but really Let's go. Rebounding numbers as well. Nicely well, done, Junior. He got me me goulash. Had a little sandpaper element to he got me me goulash. And, and rough, but that's how you win games. Pass to Hayward. The three. Hayward missing again. Come on, you know become a member, so guys. Right now, really not sure no one's going to entertain you the way I entertain you. You're not going to hear this kind of stuff from any other YouTuber. Uh-uh. I'm one in a million. Junior with it. It, the YouTube's going to be very boring without me. Trust me. And here's Macy. It's going to be very boring. Junior. I can guarantee you that. Here. Come on, pass it. Shoot. To the inside. And it's going to be a three-second call. Ah. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. There you go. Come on, man. Become a member. Right now, they need to Let's go. A contributor to any team Pay. success is the chemistry on the floor between the players. Come on, man. Come on. Do you guys think the brevity of college careers makes it harder to build those bonds? I don't think so. No, these players are studying together, practicing together, living together. You instantly form strong connections in those situations. Hey, I agree wholeheartedly. I mean, a lot of these guys are making friendships Fuck. that are going to last a lifetime. I just noticed this guy over here standing, mopping the, the floor. Seasons, are where players are Let's really go. forged Pass on it. and off the floor. Junior outside. Webb Come on. Back to Junior. Ah! Oh! So close. So, so close, so far down. away. 
11 point game. Come on, man. Come on, man. And it's come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, man. Just pass it. Come now on, here's man. Thompson. I'm right here, man. Come on, come on. Come on, Outside man. Macy. Come on, man. Junior. He's guarded by Hayward. Junior. And Liver. What the, the fuck? Banana. That was a banana, dude. Goddamn Down banana. Ball. He gets it to fall, and that makes it just Oh, a Lord. And you're not going to pass up that kind of look. Let's not fuck it up, guys. Come on. In college pass basketball, it. rankings are everything. Do you guys have a preference between a scrappy underdog or a dominant top seed? Foul. Go Come on. Let's go. Come on, man. There's a reason those teams earned that ranking through the course of the Come regular on, season. I love the unpredictability of these games. Always fun. To see an underdog team defy expectations <sighs> and grab the W. All right. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. He yes. And that will push the lead to double digits. Both teams Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's do it again. Nah, I'm not going to make it. And the second <laughs> throw, no good. A tough Damn it, break man. Down. Damn it, man. Damn it, Outside man. Kelly. Damn it, man. Damn it, man. Castro. Damn it, man. Here's early. Another How the victory. come on? Makes a three. Bullshit. And it's the Huskies with the ball. At Bullshit. Point, they led by 16. Come on, it's a man. four second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Richards. Shoots over Blake. Cans the shot nice. the wing. Disappointing day for him. Let's see if they go down with a fight. Yeah, it certainly has. I mean, there's not really much they can Out do of at this point. Come on, man. This is the fourth quarter. And so it's UConn with the W. And you know, that's the good news. I think the fans perhaps expecting a more noteworthy performance from We Tony. won. It just didn't happen to be his night. All right. Higamimi Goulash. We did it, Higamimi Goulash. Long with Bushman. From your star players. And that'll do it. Thanks for joining Oh, that us sucks. We'll see you next time. Hey, it was good. I won. Urban, I won, man. I won the... Uh, I won the game. I didn't expect to win, but I did. So Higamimi Goulash, along with Bushman, actually, it's getting better now. He's proving himself better and better. All right. Higamimi Goulash. Not bad. Oh, let's see who's interested. Chicago Bulls interested. New York Knicks interested. All right. Cool. Junior, why'd you dunk the ball like that? I saw an opportunity to make a big play. <laughs> hey, why'd you dunk the ball like that? <clears throat> like the right time for you guys as a team. All right, you're going to have to make a decision about what type of player you're going to be, how you're going to represent yourself and this school. Would your dad have made that play? Listen, coach, if I stepped out of line and you don't want me to do it again, fine. I can make the adjustment. All right, Junior, I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> All right, now I'm at my school. I'm bleeding out colors, but I lived on the bench. One particular game, everybody was in foul trouble, so I get tossed in. Now I'm thinking, good, it's my <coughs> moment. I'm going to give him the razzle-dazzle, behind-the-back pass, crossover, step back, I threw the kitchen sink at him. You showed out. Absolutely. I wanted to show that I belonged in the rotation and off the bench. We ended up winning by two. So I'm thinking, I'm on cloud nine. Life's complete. Why do I get the feeling that this story does not have a happy ending? Well, coach pulls me aside and he tells me I'm back on the bench. He says we should have won by ten. But I made the game about myself. My ego. Every time I went, I wanted to do something special or fancy, we dropped possessions. Uh, I was mad. He was wrong. 
Then I saw the tape. You know what happens next, or you're just tired of listening to me talk? <laughs> Not because I'm listening. Look, Junior, win or lose, play the game the right way. Now, if you think that dunk was the right play, that's fine, but you're gonna have to live with that, and there may be some unintended consequences. You got me? Got you, Coach. All right. Smiling, huh? Hey, don't worry about, don't worry about that. Oh, she oh, got you oh, smiling. Man. Look you at go. you, boy. I come here every Monday when Madison's playing. Look how big his head is, dude. One dimensional with like everything that we do, like training and film sessions and travel. And I just, I just want to see. He's like a Sasquatch. Out of that bubble, you know. Like yeah. I have to. Yeah. Well, I haven't found that thing yet. No. Why not? I, that is a great question, especially because it's so direct. <laughs> Well, that's what college is for, right? Yeah. Figuring out who you are, and you're exposed to so much. Just if you're, you're open to it, like all of this, this makes me so good at soccer in the long run. Like at least I like to think it does. You play for the Canadian national team too? I'm I'm an alternate right now, but yeah, every time I get in line and they sing. Oh, Canada. <laughs> I get chills. Like, I just, I can't wait. I, school lets me take assignments on the road as a wait, special wait, arrangement. Wait, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If my memory serves me correct, you said basketball players get the treatment. Yeah. That's what you okay. said, right? Yes. Basketball Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, I did, checking. okay. But you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I go, people are asking me about the games, win or lose. Especially lose. Yeah. The expectations are high, but yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. Fans, they take everything so personal. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to filter out all that noise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I struggle with it sometimes. Being good at this, it's a responsibility, you know? <laughs> Advil, yeah, man, that that should help, man. Maximum strength, uh, maximum strength. Advil right, will I'm definitely gonna, do that. I just sure. Appreciate this one. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you. All right. All right. Let me try. Um, Something else I want to play. I haven't played uh, Avengers in a while. I want to play some Avengers. This game took like a nosedive after people finished it, and not, not. I mean, I can see why people stop playing it because people get tired of the same map, the same. Um, when you level up to a certain point, and that's it, and you can't move anymore, um, you stop playing it, you know, because you don't want to go through the same thing that you already did. I don't know what the deal is. I honestly don't know. They're all playing uh, Quest. I know Derek uh, It's visiting uh, Pensacola, Florida, so he's going to be out for three days. Cameron D is probably working out, you know, that's what he does, works out. Um, yes, you can pre-order it right now. I don't know, man. Um, Stadia is not that bad people think yes i know you gotta pay for a game um i get it i understand it but uh let's look at it from this point of view 
and when it comes to Stadia. I mean, just my and your point of view. I don't know what other people are going to say. I know other people are going to have other opinions. Fine. But how cool... I, I, I like it. Think about this. You come home and you tired. Okay, I don't know what you do for a living. Let's say you're working on a construction or whatever. And you're just tired, dude. You're just exhausted. You want to do the step one, open that beer. Step two, get another beer. Uh, step three, I guess, triple beer. <laughs> and you just want to relax. Kick back on your lazy boy chair. Turn you on your TV and click play. I never can... Listen... I can say that I keep my... I, see, nobody can can say anything to me because I kept my word. People say, oh, he's going to cancel Stadia. I didn't cancel Stadia. I still have it. It's still here. I have it. And people say, oh, he doesn't like PlayStation. Some people say, I don't like Japan. Dude, what, the, what, what is this? Does this look like somebody who doesn't like Japan? I mean, it is so idiotic and retarded uh, how badly these trolls are backpedaling. They're backpedaling so much that they just, they don't know what to say. They don't know what to say. They're just repeating themselves like a broken record because they know they have no credibility. There's nothing that can pinpoint at me and say, ah, I see, I got you. You got nothing from me in seven years. Diddly shit. I got you. I shut down 120 channels. I shut down that bloke in UK as well. His channel's been shut down twice. You know, the guy you know, painting the fucking pictures of me. Terrible artist. Hiding behind a fucking camera. And he's a married person. Yeah, he has children. He's married. His wife should divorce him as soon as possible. As soon as possible, you should divorce that, that geezer. As soon as possible. Um, listen, no one has shit against me. They can say, oh, it sticks. I can put it on here and sticks. 120. What was the one guy said to me? A Monaco lawyer. A Deutsch German lawyer. I said, give it a best give it give it your best shot. Give it your best shot. You know what happened? It's better if you didn't. Well, you can't because he's. Uh, I deleted him a long time ago. Listen, man, I've been doing this. People, they know I've been doing this for seven years. And they know who the king is. All right? I. Even Hard 8 tried to do some shit with me and pff, it didn't end up too well. He, I gained more subscribers. He was losing subscribers. My only thing is, I just wish that um, that Joe, the 1316 killer, didn't uh, delete his channel. But they were going, listen, they were doxing him. They were going after him. They were doing all kinds of crazy shit. Um, it was getting out of hand. So I totally understand that. But that's why you need to buy yourself a private internet security, VPN. Get yourself a VPN server. Protect yourself your identity, so no one can dox you. You should definitely try the uh, private internet security. I'm not sponsored by private internet security. I'm not sponsored by them, but uh, I have it. I, I can tell you that it works. Uh, and you can also do other things with a VPN. Other cool things you can do. You can watch certain movies. They're, on, they're locked here, and you cannot watch it here, but they can be unlocked on a different region, you can switch the regions and shit like that. There's a lot of different things you can do with the VPN. You know. This this painting guy, he is from South Shields. Not North Shields, South Shields. Uh, this is in United Kingdom. Uh, and uh, he has a heavy, heavy Cogni. Cogni accent. Cogni accent, it's... Even the, the British people are having a difficult time understanding when, they, when, when the Cogni person talks in Cogni. Only a Cogni person can understand the Cogni accent. It goes something like this. They get in the car. They get over here. 
That's how it sounds like that. Dad! That's how it sounds, you know. Get in there! It, it's just terrible. <laughs> Even Ridley Scott can't understand the cognate. And I think he's from South Shields. Uh, I think he was born South Shields. I don't know. I think so. I know both of them. Tony Scott, Anthony Scott, and Ridley Scott. Um, they were born. I think South Shields. I know South Shields. I got to ask Anthony Bishop. Because uh, I know he's from there. I got I to gotta ask him. I'm sure he knows. But anyway. I, I assume he... Because it's a Cogni accent. Okay. <laughs> No, it wasn't. He didn't paint. It was just like uh, he draw. I'm sorry, he didn't paint. He's not that professional. He put a drawing of me with a broken teeth and, and a uh, one eye and a patch and some fucked up head, and he was just like uh, drawing me terribly. Uh, it was just horrible, dude. It was just uh, you don't know. It was like my nieces can draw better than this fucking guy. All right can draw better than this fucking guy all right and he also had a little like um what was it a little avatar of the uh, pc master race no all it master race that was his fucking name the all it master race fucking guy i shut i shut him down twice twice you don't hear nothing from him you know so let me see who pick a fight with me oh let, let me go down the list uh, that fucking guy shut him down uh the quantum put a foot in his mouth nothing happened uh who's the other guy uh pfft. the you the truth of youtubers uh hard eight nothing nothing happened it's all doc listen mr urban world you got to go through my channel you got to go back to 2016 like September, October. It's all well documented, bro. Oh, shut up, Alexa, will you? There's Alexa out there listening to my conversations. Tell Jeff Bezos that... Um, tell him I just... Tell him to give me, I don't know, 50 million or something. And I'm going to walk away from YouTube for good. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the the the, the West Side, West Side uh, West Side Tech. You talking about uh, what's his name? Um, talking about Bob. That's his name, Bob Robert Bob. Uh, he was uh, he was driving a bus. He drives. I don't know if he still drives a bus. I don't know, but he used to drive a bus. Uh, West Side Dick. I call him West Side Dick. You know, he's telling me how I should live my life, what I should do with my life. Like he owns me or some shit like that. And the same guy like him, it's telling Ice Cube how he should live. Whom he should talk to. Whom he should work with. How pathetic is that? I'm so glad that the Ice Cube says, I'm not playing your fucking games. I'm not playing this left and right bullshit games with you motherfuckers. I'm going to work with whoever I'm going to work with. He just happened to be the president, sitting president. I don't care who president next year. But I'm going to reach out to whoever I can reach out to to help the black communities. And that's what he's trying to do. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Uh, I don't give a right's ass about that guy. Fuck him. Fuck that guy. He's a piece of shit. That's what he is. A piece of shit. I don't. I have zero fucking. And the other guy, Jer, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Mister Quantin. Deadpool mask. Yeah, Jeremiah. How did you find out my name? Oh, how did I find out your name, Jeremiah? Well, Jeremiah, since you're so fucking smart, Mister Deadpool mask. When you file a copyright strike against me, the YouTube has to tell me your real name, your address, and your everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. 
But since you know everything, since you're so fucking smart, Mr. Deadpool fucking guy, fake Deadpool guy, you should have known that. Cheers. Fucking amateurs. I'm dealing, you know what, Mr. Urban? I'm dealing with the loser amateurs. If I was dealing with somebody like who's a real deal, you know, like, oh, fuck. All right, this is going to be a challenge. Damn. You know, but I'm dealing with a bunch of fucking nobodies, losers, low life losers. It's what I'm fucking dealing with. That's what pisses me off. And I know they're losers. I know they're nobodies. I know they're pussies. I know they are. I can smell their stinking pussies all the way from up here. That's what pisses me off. I know who they are. But anyway. Let's go. I'm going to continue with the campaign. Not to mention the fact that they dance to my tunes. Even right now, they're jumping up and down, dancing to my tunes. Pfft, yes, keep dancing, little piggies. Dance to my fucking tunes. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Nice. These motherfuckers, man. Joke. Well, I called him the painting guy, but he was the master OLED guy. And it's funny. He came after me. Look how stupid this guy is, this Cogni guy, uh, Cogni uh, British guy. Um, he came after me because I didn't like the OLED. Like, dude, I don't like the OLED. I have five generations of OLEDs. <laughs> but then I find out he doesn't even care about the OLED. He's just a, he's just a troll. A troll, a grown ass cogni man, troll, just likes to troll. Just mentally, mentally, something's not there. I think mentally there's something there. It's just they're pussies. I guarantee you, the same cogni guy wouldn't fucking dare. Wouldn't fucking dare. Approach me in person. Fucking there. I'll put hundred dollars on the table right the fuck now. He wouldn't dare. Because I can smell stink of fear on that stinking cunt pussy that he has. Cogni pussy. I can smell it. Stinks of fear. But anyway, let's move on. I haven't played this in a while, so bear with me. Oh my god. Well, that shows you how old my channel is, Mr. Urban. That shows you how old my channel. Seven years, man been doing this for seven years even if i don't do even if i don't make any videos for no i mean really if, even if i don't make any videos for uh a year and a half i still get paid that's how many videos i have there we go and that's not me bragging about it urban that's just a fact uh, nobody can argue the facts. These are the facts. So I can really just kick back, relax for a year and a half, not make any videos, and then come back after a year and a half, like 2022. And I still get paid. Seriously. Think about it. 
5,300 plus videos. <sighs> That's how many videos I have. Even PewDiePie doesn't have that many videos. No one that I know of. And I made it in such a short period of time. Oh yeah. Oh, you know it. You've seen my videos. You've seen my live streams. Cameron D has seen it. You guys know. Everyone knows it. Even JT, just a troll, knows it. Even James, the other guy, knows it. The other guy, Steve, knows it. They all know it. They know. The resistance has to be here. I got so many videos, man. I don't even know. Like, sometimes I bump into my videos. My own videos are being recommended to me. Like, well, I, like I'm sitting at the toilet taking a shit and just going through my cell phone. Looking through YouTube videos on my cell phone. And even YouTube sometimes recommends my own videos. Videos from 2015, 16. Uh, I'm like... Is this the same guy? Who is this? I don't even remember me making this video. Like, seriously, sometimes I'm like, that wasn't me. Who is that? You know. Yes, he's too busy in his Ferrari. His Ferrari, it's uh, made out of IKEA. Uh, so he has a couple of IKEA tables. He painted the... He was able to buy some paint to paint it red. And... Uh, he used the uh, one of those, uh, what you call it, uh, plates where you put your food on and everything. One of those uh, dishes plates, and he painted it black and red with a little like a horse Ferrari orange color, and he's pretending that he's driving a Ferrari. No, I mean Lamborghini. His Lamborghini. Oh, it was a Lamborghini. Yeah, it was a white Lamborghini. It was a white Lamborghini that he took a photo of from a sidewalk. Uh, somebody's, uh, somebody's, somebody parked it there. It's like, oh, cool, man. Here, let me take a photo of this Lamborghini. That will be like me uh, seeing somebody's uh, Bentley and I just take a photo from the side. You don't want to show the license plate. You take a photo from the side and then you tell people, hey, look, man, that's my Bentley, bro. What's up, Cloud Gaming, man? What's up, Brendan? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Just uh, We're just uh, blowing up some steam. You know, speaking the truth. The truth that should be spoken. Uh, and, of course, having a good time. And we are testing this NVIDIA uh broadcast which you don't even need a green screen right now i don't have a green screen guys i'm in my bedroom dude <laughs> there's a bed behind me uh there's no green screen and uh it's pretty cool go to uh for more information cloud gaming brendan go to uh nvidia broadcast just type in nvidia broadcast pretty cool feature i recommend this to anybody who is on the go, okay? Because majority of you have a studio in your office, right? Or whatever it is in your house. And there's a green screen. There's a computer there. Uh, you got everything set up there, right? So when you want to leave, when you want to go somewhere, and you are on the road, right? You're traveling. You're sitting in a hotel room. All you would need is a laptop with a semi-decent camera, microphone, headset, and uh, you don't need no green screen. You don't have to carry a green screen with you. You can just uh, remove the background and have a decent light. You know, just a little bit of a light, not too much light. And then, boom. Yeah, technology is moving so fast. Thank you, Cloud Gaming, man. I really appreciate that. Somebody's home. And it works great. Here I am on my PlayStation. This is my... Uh, you see, it works, it disappears, depending on how much light I have. The more light, the better. You know, the more light I have, the better it is. But hey, this is all cheap. Very minimalistic stuff. 
so anybody can start streaming right now. Anybody can start YouTube. You can you can start doing it like that right now. It's really uh, not that difficult, guys, to to start streaming. Remember, it's not about the quality; it's about the content. Okay, people watch me not because of the stuff that I give my opinion on, but because of my persona, because they know there's no other person unlike this person right here. They know that. They know. Because if there was, well, where is he? Where's my uh, duplicate? I don't see him. <laughs> yes. Um, you can use the shadow. We can use anything. Your NVIDIA shield. But remember, uh, Brendan, uh, it's not a software. This is more like an add-on. You're still going to need a OBS software or uh, Streamlabs software to use this because um, this is an add-on that helps you with your camera and with your microphone. So that way you don't have to have a green screen with you, uh, carrying the weed screen, portable green screen with you. You don't have to carry it. Just go to... Um, here, let me write it down for you. Just type in... Just type in uh, NVIDIA Broadcast for more information. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool feature. I like it. Uh, as you can see, I've been now live streaming for how many hours? Let me see. I've been streaming now for two hours. And no issues, no problems. Everything seems to be running smooth. Um, pretty cool, actually. Ah, uh, you're welcome. It's a pretty cool tool. Uh, oops. Down was the reactor room. Up's probably the way to go. Of course, I know. People watch me everywhere, man. People talk about me everywhere. Uh, Even uh, Yong Ya knows who I am. But Yong Ya is not going to mention me. Because he doesn't want to um, give me a spotlight. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Holy crap, I must be close. Two hours, yeah. So, what is this I'm hearing, uh, Mr. Urban? That it's going to be just uh, AMD next month? They're getting rid of... Uh, Nvidia all together like there won't be any more Nvidia just AMD uh, maximum settings holy crap the command deck Resistance headquarters. So, what's going to happen to a tier three? Are they going to get rid of it? Okay, then um, then I'll probably have to upgrade to uh, 6900 XT. So it's going to be Ryzen 9. Um, 
Ryzen 9. 3900 with 6900 XT, right? Did those aim drones outside scare everyone away? Tier 4. Hmm. And how much is going to charge? Yeah, Brandon, uh, the consoles are going to be impossible to get this uh, this holiday season. Maybe for uh, February, Valentine's week, weekend, or whenever, around Valentine's, February, maybe you'll get lucky to get one. But uh, throughout holiday season, November, December, uh, I wouldn't bet on it that you're going to get one. Hey, thank you, Stacy. Um, what's my top picks for streaming device? Um, you mean like a movies, watching um, HBO Max, Disney Plus, stuff like that, Netflix? I would say if you are not on Apple ecosystem. If you are not heavily invested on Apple ecosystem, I would suggest NVIDIA, NVIDIA Shield Pro. NVIDIA Shield Pro uh, not only is a very powerful little device, uh, but it also has the upscaling capabilities to upscale uh, uh, 1080p formats to 4K. It has a Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. A, you can sideload so many different applications and stuff. Uh, I would say if you're not heavily invested into Apple, and there's nothing wrong with the Apple TV 4K. Uh, it's, it's an excellent uh, 4K device for streaming. But NVIDIA Shield, hands down, has to be one of my favorites, uh, I would say. So hopefully... Hopefully that that answers the question. Nvidia Shield Pro, I mean, it, it's really uh, an amazing device. I've been using it for shadow. I've been using it for s different types of applications to sideload. Um, it's a it's a open market for independent app developers. It's the best Android device out there. It's Nvidia Shield. Um, not to mention, it's very powerful that it has the uh, upscaling capabilities uh, and supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, HDR10, supports majority of uh, surround sound, uh, lossless audios. Uh, overall, it's just a great, great device. I really have nothing bad to say about NVIDIA Shield except great things. And I'm pretty sure... Mr. Mr. Urban here will tell you the same thing. That it's the uh, hands down the best Android device that you can purchase and buy today. 6900 XT. That's awesome, dude. I'm definitely going to go with the 6900 XT. Um, I'm thinking November, man. The first week of November, guys, is when you want to be... Checking the upgrades. First week of November. That's what I would say. First week of November. Kind of dusty. No. They're here somewhere. Yeah, we'll see. You know, I'm sure... I'm, look, I'm pretty sure I'll have PlayStation 5, uh, X-Series X next year. <laughs> you know, <laughs> during the summer, I'll be able to get one. I'm not worried... I mean, I'm not worried about that. But, um... And there will be more games back then. You'll be able to play a bunch of more games back then. 
in 2021 summer if everything goes well you know i mean if everything goes well because uh unfortunately i don't have a crystal ball unfortunately wait a minute um the pre-orders are what 100 why 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 is it 100 Oh, you get 100 credits hours with our pre-order. Hmm. 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 You know what? Here's the thing, man. Um, I just wish that Paul would talk to me, dude. Like, that he would, like, message me. That he would send me an email. He has got my email. I know he's in business of making money. I, I'm... I Look... And I said this even yesterday. I have nothing against people making money. I get it. You got to make money. You got to live. You got to pay your bills. I understand. But there has to be another way. There has to be another way for him to approach the whole leasing cloud service on the maximum settings. Like I proposed a seven days a week uh, for twenty dollars, I think that'd be great for se twenty dollars for seven days. That would be great. I think people say, "Okay, I got seven days. I got plenty of time to to try a bunch of games." Okay, that could work. You know, something like that. Or yeah, but I already spoke to him. He's got my email, uh, and he's kind of hesitant because he knows who I am. I mean, you guys are customers. It's a different. You guys are customers. He knows who I am. He knows I'm this, uh, this YouTube guy. Uh, and sometimes what I say can have an impact, and I understand that. Things I say could definitely have an impact. Uh, but I don't know why is he why is he hesitant to to reach out to me, you know? Uh, that that's all I'm saying. I just want to talk to him. Um, you can tell him, hey, dude, uh, I'm not gonna bite even South Korea from Seoul, South Korea. Talk to me, and I talk to them, and they sent me uh, LG OLED, brand new, brand new, to test as a gift. Okay, so tell him, you know, to, to reach out to me, man. Because I have some, I, listen, I, I don't want to tell the guy how to run his business. I don't want to tell him what to do. But I got some ideas. I want to throw some ideas to him to see if this could work. I think if he can make it more feasible for people to, to come back because there will be a point where people are going to say, hey, dude, I just spent like 300 bucks uh, using uh, this service. And I could have bought, you know, I don't know, uh, Xbox Series S or the Quest 2 or what have you. I just wasted 300 bucks this month. You know what I mean? And uh, they're going to say, I don't know, dude. I've been, I've been, it's like gambling. You know, it's going to be addictive. Ah man, I just wasted a bunch of money. I could have I could have leased a PC from iBuyPower for three hundred dollars a month. Um, I'm just simply saying there's other ways for him to to make that money, and he's gonna make that money if you give people an option for fifteen. Okay, let's say fifteen, fifteen dollars for seven days, bro. People are going to jump on that so quick, so fast. He's going to have to build another server. You're going to make your money, Paul. But when you start giving people minimum 20, 30, 40, um, let's say, for example, like I was talking about this yesterday. Let's say, for example, my internet's not that good or their internet in Toronto, it's not that good. And there's some hiccups. There's some problems, right? And uh, I'm downloading Call of Duty, Cold War, Black Ops, right? The open beta. 
And uh, all of a sudden, something's going on with the Blizzard. Blizzard's having a problem. It's not downloading properly, right? Um, and let's say you are stuck and you have to re-download that game. So you just wasted two hours trying to uh, download that game. And then you have to wait for the updates to update the game. So you just wasted $4, $5. You just wasted. So you left with what? $13 left? And then you want to play the game? How many matches are you going to finish? All I'm saying is there has to be there has to be another way, you know. I know they're not a big company, and I know there's only a certain amount of people they can allow to use the service. I understand that. I understand that. But I'm also thinking to myself, they got to do something like rewards program, like some sort of a program where you get something back. Let's say you spend $300 a month, and you get some free hours, and they give you some free hours. Like, let's say, uh, 50 free hours or 100 free hours or something like that. There has to be. That's, why I wanna, that's what I wanted to talk to him about. That's what I wanted to say to him. Uh, I, I wanted to bring this up to his attention, you know. And I mean, because they have a good service. Here, let me show you. Hold on. Here, check this out so everybody can see it. I'll, I'll show you something in a minute. Here, let me show you something. This was yesterday. I don't mind. Listen, I don't mind paying. I can pay. Do it, okay, listen. Tell Paul it's not about me. <laughs> okay, it doesn't bother me. I, I piss away $20, $30 every day anyway. It's not about me. It's about me trying to help him to boost the company to move forward. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. Yesterday, I did a test. It's right here. Uh, this is from uh, Maximum Settings, Tier 3, uh, Ryzen 9 2080 Super. In 4K, 4K 60. It almost hit 60. It wasn't quite 60. It was uh, between 48 to 50 frames. But that's because I maxed everything out. But here's the video. I want you to check it out. Here. They have a great service. Okay. I'm not saying that they don't. They have better service than better servers than even Stadia. <laughs> they got better servers than Stadia for some reason. They got better servers than um, Shadow. Look what I recorded. Look at this. Go check it out. That was yesterday from uh, my Tier 3 maximum settings. And you can watch that video and see for yourself. I hit some, somewhere between 47 to 50 frames. That's because I maxed everything out. Everything was maxed out. Even the RTX real-time ray tracing, everything was maxed out. And I use H.265 codec through Moonlight. I was using a Moonlight highest possible bitrate codec. And uh, look at the quality. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, if you see Paul, just tell him, tell him that um, I'm not trying to like give the guy a hard time. I'm not trying to shit on him. I, I promoted his company and i think i gave a little boost uh of all the subscribers coming in customers coming in uh, i don't want any thanks i don't want to be pat on the back i did it because i want to do it i didn't do it because i want something in return just tell him i don't want anything in return just tell him i want to give him some ideas he's got my email he knows my email he has it uh, just tell him to contact me, you know, because I don't want to be one of those guys that it's, that's look, that it's coming after him, trying to, to get in touch with him. Uh, tell him if he, if he is serious about moving this company 
forward, out of beta, I can help him, dude. I can promote him. I can join up with the uh, cloud gaming extreme. I can do other things. I there's There's things we can do. But I want to throw some ideas out there. I want to throw some ideas that can help this service. Because I know if he keeps status quo with this whole $1 an hour or $1.25 for the tier 4, um, it's not going to work out, man. I'm just being honest, uh, Mr. Urban. It might work out for a little while. People are going to jump into it for a little while to try it out, sure, and he's going to make his money, but, you see, that's what I don't know, does he want to do this for a long term, or is he doing this just for a short term, and quite honestly, I don't want to judge the guy, but in my honest opinion, I get this feeling that the guy wants to do this short term, uh, and when his lease expires, on that place that he's renting, where he keeps his servers, where he keeps these computers with a server in Toronto. When his lease expires, he's going to sell the computers, he's going to close the company, and run off to the sunset. Now, I hope I'm wrong, and I hope that's not the case, but that's what I'm guessing, honestly. <laughs> But see, I, I need to talk to him. That's why I want to talk to the guy. And I cannot talk to him through chat. Through chat, he's answering too many people's. Too many people are asking him questions. I want to talk to him through through email, back and forth. You know, I want to I want to have a private conversation with him. Uh, I want to give him some ideas. He can just hear me out. He doesn't have to listen to my ideas. It's his business. I'm not here to tell the guy how to run his business. Okay, I don't want to tell anybody how to run their business. But hey, dude, I got some ideas I want to throw throw around. If you're serious about moving forward, there's some good juicy ideas that I have that could really help you. That could really help you move the company, uh, make some echo out there. For Shadow and Stadia and other other companies. And they'll say, oh, wait a minute. Have you guys heard about Maximum Settings? Small little company in Toronto. This can happen. But, you know, he's not talking to me. and He's not contacting me. So, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway. I'm just saying, if you see him, let him know. Just let him know, dude. He, he knows my email. Uh, I already spoke to him. Direct message couple of exchanges he broke the news to me about 6900 xt uh but it was just a brief exchange of couple of words that i had with him it's not like we were talking back and forth for like an hour it was just a brief exchange of oh really cool awesome i like your videos i saw your channel man you hilarious da 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 just to let you know, we're going to be releasing 6900 XT pretty soon. Hopefully, I can get the cards in time in November because you know how it is with the COVID-19. The shipping takes a long time, etc., etc. So, like I said, if you see the guy, just, just tell him, hey, dude, you know. If he's interested, if he's not, that's fine, you know. Thanks. Because I don't want to pressure anybody, dude. I don't want to pressure. That's that's not that's not what I'm about. I, I, I sure as hell don't want to pressure people. Like some kind of car salesman, you know. Or some kind of, uh, you know, uh, entrepreneur. Because I'm not an entrepreneur. You know, I'm not the influence entrepreneur. Uh, even though some people call me that, but I'm not. I'm not Tony Robbins, obviously. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not Tony Robbins. Hold on. Here we go. But anyway. What are we doing here? I don't even know what are we doing, dude. Hit in the crew quarters and got locked out.
out and see if we can help. Figures. Well, the whole thing with the cloud started with uh, last year, November. Last year, November, um, I got interested because Google Stadia, you know, Google Stadia started doing it. And uh, as you know, man, I I bought Google Stadia. I still have it since November, November 21st. I got it November 21st. I was a founder, and then they switched me back to a premiere because uh, they just didn't have enough Founders Editions. So they sw and I was okay with that. I was fine with the premiere, being a premiere, Google Stadia. And then I left a message to, uh, I left a tweet to Phil Harrison, and Phil Harrison highlighted my tweet and sent me a direct message, and he says, cheers, I'm glad you're enjoying uh, our product. Thank you so much for your feedback. That was it. And that was it. So you know that um, I've been, I tried everything, man. I tried Stadia. I still have my Stadia. I didn't cancel it. I still have it. I still have my um, PlayStation now. The only thing I canceled was, I still have my Shadow. I have my Shadow. It's, it's still here with me. The only thing I canceled was a geforce now because i just don't see any reason for me to to uh, purchase geforce now now luna amazon luna i have signed up for amazon luna but am i going to be selected to to try out amazon luna i don't know am i going to be selected who knows i don't know What are we doing here? What? Oh. Hmm. Maybe there's a breaker or something I could flip. I know. But how about Blade? Look at Blade's shadow. I mean, Blade has money. They, I mean, they got they, they, they're <laughs> they got money. Okay, Blade. Uh, shadow, it's owned by Blade. Okay, for you who don't know, and uh, they've been around. If they're having a difficult time building G, I mean, building PCs, even twenty seventy super. 2060 Super would have been better than a Quattro P5000. Ryzen 7 would have been better. I just don't know what... Uh, there. I, think I, can reach it. I really don't know what Shadow is doing, honestly. Okay. Like, why is it difficult for them to, to build 3080? I mean, 2070, 2060... Super. I just don't understand Shadow. Like, why is it difficult for them to do that? You know, it shouldn't be difficult. Uh, I, I just don't... Um, I, I, I just don't get it, man. Well, see, that's what happens when you have a corporate. That's why I like small businesses versus corporate. That's why I want to talk to Paul. You see, this is the difference, man. Um, that's why I like small companies. But even small companies, if they get bigger, they can, uh, they can lose themselves in greed. Greed corrupts everything, okay? Greed has the ability to corrupt a lot of different things. It happens to a small companies, too. Um, Amazon was a small company once upon a time. Uh, they were all small companies. 
but they grew into bigger and better and look at him now look at google google used to be a small company once upon a time but look at him now the big giant tech company um so i prefer small businesses better than corporations because cause, cause corporations uh they're all about ones and zeros ones and zeros that's what they're looking they're just looking at it from profit m- profit how much i can profit this year what's my net worth going to be this fixed fiscal year how much am i go- we going to profit this year you know and uh that's why i prefer talking to small companies instead of the big companies is he the youngest billionaire um what about Elon Musk? Is he in par with Elon Musk? No, Stadia is not going to die. No. Come on, bro. We can play Hello? Cyberpunk. How cool is that, bro? I can take my Cyberpunk with me. I can take my Cyberpunk with me and play it. When I go out, when I go somewhere. Uh, yeah. What's up, Cameron D? Welcome back. Ah, uh, you missed so much, Cameron D. <laughs> you don't want to know how much you missed, bro. But you can watch it later. It was pretty hardcore. Hardcore. But look, at the end of the day, <clears throat> I only got myself to blame because I should have known that I shouldn't be playing this game. I got myself into this this poca face game uh that's it i'm not letting people come in uh i'm not opening my live stream to a public chat if they want to leave uh comments on the videos they can leave the comments on the videos no one's going to read those comments no one gives a shit but uh from now on i'm not going to play their games uh i'm not playing their games dude uh, i'm done with them uh from now on they're going to have to pay to become a member and then, once they become a member, I block them, and they come back again with another fake account, become a member, they pay, and then I block them again and again, and do the whole thing all over again. That's how I'm going to play this game from now on. Because I'm tired of the of this trolls bullshit, man. Uh, it's just too much. It's annoying. It's, it's bullshit. I don't want to waste my oxygen on, on somebody hiding behind a fucking God knows where. But you missed some hardcore shit. Some gangster shit you missed in the, in the beginning, let's just say. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Man, this chair is killing me. This damn chair. By the way, we're on the PlayStation. He's not. I told him. I told him, but I love him. I said, you're not a real Afro cyber. Cyborg. I said, you're not a real Afro cyborg. But I still love you. So, then he had a... Uh, like a pain in his tooth and he went to the CVS and he says don't worry Mr. 4K it's all good <laughs> oh Elon's an old geezer Sounds like this old thing's falling apart. and uh, people who say I don't love Japan here we go I don't love Japan Mr. Forke doesn't like Japan, even though I dedicated dozens of videos, me flying over Tokyo. And here I am playing a PlayStation. PlayStation game. Right here. There it is, right here. Right here. Can you see it? Look. There it is. <sighs> These trolls, man. <sighs> I'm fucking telling you, man. You trolls. Ah. You just hope. You just hope you don't bump into me. Or drop something in front of me. Just just hope. Just. 
just avoid me as much as you can in real life. I'm fucking believable. What's that? It was I know who he was, man. It was uh just a troll. It was JT. I Since I exposed him, now he's so pissed he doesn't know how to handle himself. He even sold his IKEA furniture with speakers. It was a junkyard sale. And they he almost didn't sell the tower speaker because they found a couple of cockroaches in there. I says, hey man, what kind of a fucking speaker is this? You got a couple of fucking cockroaches in there. And he says, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll clean it for you. I'm going to make sure it's, it's taken care of. But anyway... And he made a Lamborghini out of cardboard. Uh, he photoshopped a uh, so Lamborghini and he made a big replica poster of Lamborghini. So he can pretend that he's actually... That's as close as he'll ever get to a Lamborghini. Is to, to have a Lamborghini photoshopped on a big poster on the wall. Yeah. Who's there? Oh, oh, it's the Hulk! It's the Hulk. Hulk hungry! Hulk horny! Why is Hulk... Oh, Jesus, Hulk. Rano! Oh, my lord. He's not gonna hurt you. He's your friend. He's got very expressive eyes. He's not gonna hurt you. This runs pretty good, man. No! Go run! This game reminds me so much of Spider-Man, dude. So much of Spider-Man. By the way, we'll be able to play Spider-Man Miles Morales uh, on a PlayStation 4 Pro, which is great. Which is awesome. I love that. That it's not only exclusive to PlayStation 5. We'll be able to play it on a PlayStation 4 Pro. So that's two games, dude. That's um, um, Cyberpunk, Spider-Man, and Modern, uh, Call of Duty uh, Cold, uh, Cold War. We got that as well. Oh yeah, Cameron D. But not all of them, uh, Cameron D. Trust me. Uh, you would be surprised. There's a one guy uh, that I used to have a fight with, and I shut down his channel twice. His name was uh, Oled Master Race or something, whatever. Um, this guy's married, grown ass man, has kids, married fucking guy. Uh, does drawings of me and and and. Use the drawings and speaks in his cogni accent. Dah, dah, dah. You know, speaks in that cogni accent. It's not even English. It's like some cogni. It's a different. It's English, but fucked up English cogni. Uh, okay, accent. And um, he was the one that's actually married, has kids. And there's another guy, West Side, Wet Wet Side Dick. It's also married. He's going through a divorce, and I think he divorced and has a girlfriend and has children. Uh, this is all grown ass men, and he's a uh, public tra uh, transport in Los Angeles. He's driving a bus. Grown ass man. That's even worse. These are grown ass people. Grown ass people, man. Grown ass people. <clears throat> seriously well 2020 actually you don't need listen you don't need mr 4k to tell you that they are out of their minds just look on the television look on the news uh this year 2020 
Look what's going on this year, 2020. These are grown-ass people. Grown-ass men. Come on, man. <laughs> I rest my case. I rest my case. <laughs> oh, yeah. Grown man is even worse, man. Um, oh, ter- I mean, terrible, Cameron. I mean, it, ma- it makes you wonder what happened like to these individuals. Like... Who did, who did you so bad? Who made you so angry in your life that you ended up like that? Playing a victim and turning into beta, beta. I don't know. You know, what, what happened to these individuals, man? That they need the attention. Well, speaking of Canada... Uh, the borders are still strict, you know, to travel from the United States to Canada because uh, due to the COVID-19 situation. I think the uh, Canadian president, Trudeau, he said that uh, they're not going to reopen Canadian. Uh, oh, look, I don't blame him. Listen, uh, some people got mad that he's doing this because um, people want to move to Canada. You know what I mean? But I understand why he's doing it. He does want to bring that virus there. He's trying to contain it in Canada. So you guys got a good president, man. Uh, I mean, at least I think he's a good president. I don't know. I mean, I don't live in Canada, but at least I think he... Just tell me to shut the fuck up, okay? I don't live in Canada. I don't know. But I think he seems like a reasonable guy. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. He was on the news the other day. They were talking about it. Uh, Canadian President Trevor says that uh, they're going to still close the borders. Uh, they're not going to reopen the borders from the United States to, to Canada. That's what I saw the other day. It was on the news. What is this? Acquiring skills. Oh, really? Ah, oh, listen. Oh, he's going to wish he never... M- Mr. Urban, these individuals are pussies. Okay, they're, they're hiding behind... Well, he, here's the reason why we shouldn't waste time. And like I said, the only time I will reply to them is in person. Because it's not worth you losing your oxygen, getting your day all fucked up because of some pussy hiding behind a keyboard. Of course they're cowards. Everybody knows they're cowards. Even uh, animals, when they look at the chat, they know, okay, this guy is a coward. He's hiding. They're staying anonymous. They're hiding because they are natural born losers, cowards. They're pathetic losers beyond pathetic. Because if they had any principle, which they don't, if they had any self-respect for themselves, they don't. They would show their face and they would have the balls to say something. But they don't. So don't even, don't even, um, don't even sweat it. The best thing to do is do what I just did here. Make them pay. Hit them where it hurts the most. The pockets. The money. That's it. Hey, you want to come to the chat room? You want to say a few things? Pay. Become a member. And then I block you. And then you come back again, make another fake account, become a member, pay, and then I block you. Do that. Under my conditions. Uh, And I should have done this a long time ago. I was just thinking about this earlier. I said, I should have done this long fucking time ago. Let them suffer. Let them suffer. Or let them pay. Both choices sucks. But they'll have to make either one of them. Under my terms, under my conditions. Dancing on my tunes and strings. 
So don't really, don't bother too much about that stuff, man. Uh, the only time you should give a fuck about that, Urban, is if the person, you know who the person is. You know his name, you know his face, and you know where he's from. Then you give a fuck when you know who it is. But when you don't know who it is, nah. Why bother, dude? Why bother? It's just not worth it. Hey, look, I agree. But remember, I talked about the karma. Remember what I said in the beginning of the video. I said, hey, don't worry about me. Worry about karma. You know that energy that creates everything and you can't see it, but it's there? You worry about that. Don't worry about me. Worry about karma. Okay? Karma's a bitch. And you're not going to get rich. Trust me. But karma is a bitch, and it usually happens when you least expect. It usually happens when everything's going fine for you. And then one day, boom, gone. All the dreams, everything. Boom. Not right away, a year from now, two years from now, five years from now. It doesn't matter. Karma works slow. But sooner or later, full circle, full fucking circle comes. I've seen it. I've seen it in person many times. And it's real. It's very, very real. That should terrify every single human being. All right, uh, Cloud Gaming, thank you, brother, for being here. I appreciate you being here. Always a pleasure. I got some stuff I can upgrade here. Okay, here we go. Nice. I'll take this. And what else we have? All right, so I guess this is it. I don't have any more. That's fine. I level up to number three. Oh, hold on. Nice! Should have transformed back to Dr. Banner by really? I didn't know that they were available, honestly. Um, I'll have to look into it, man. I'll probably have to uh, pick one up. I'll definitely uh, look into that. How many games do they have on there? Uh, Cool. I'll really keep an eye on it, man. I will definitely keep an eye on that. Yeah, yeah. Just just send me a photo or on the Twitter. Either way. Uh, I want to look at it. I think there's this one chick uh, on Twitter. She sent me a photo. I think it's like they're like this big, right? There's a little like a, like a screen. Like a what? Seven inch screen or something. They're like this big, right? Like that big. And there's like an arcade and everything. What was her name? This one chick, she uh, she sent me a photo. Um, but yeah, send it to me on Twitter. Uh, dude, I don't know, man. I, I So many things were going on a couple of months now, uh, September, October, that I, pff, man, <laughs> I'm, I was like all over the place. Yeah, that's what I heard. Cameron uh, played Street Fighter.
But you know what? It's so true what Cameron says about Street Fighter. He prefers to play a Street Fighter in person, next to a person, instead of playing it on an online multiplayer. Because when you're playing with somebody online, they can always bail out. They can leave and bail out. But when you're playing with them, they can't bail out because they put the chips inside. They paid for the, arca- for the arcade, so they have to finish playing. And that was the great thing back in the 80s, back in the 90s. When you go to the Galleria, when you go to the uh, Galleria arcade, uh, you're playing right next to, uh, next to the person. He's right next to you. You guys talking smack to each other, doing it, you know. That was the great thing back then. To be to play right next to each other, you know, and I miss that uh, that 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 social feel of it. That's the thing that's missing today. It's this person person in person uh, exchange, you know, because and that's why you have so many trolls. Because it, it's easy to be a troll when you're hiding your identity, when you are hiding behind a camera, when you're hiding behind a computer. You know, back in the days, you couldn't hide. You want to play that Commodore 64? You got to you gotta come to my house or I got to come to your house and we play a Commodore 64, track and field. You know, uh, same thing with the Atari, with the Amiga 500. I have to come to your house, you have to come to my house or vice versa. Or we meet somewhere out there and then we plug it in and play it. Uh, but we do it in person. It was more social experience. It was a better experience. So everything in the 80s was better. Better. Like everything. It was the golden age of all time. How could pushing a red button? But good luck explaining that to millennials. You know, what I'm just saying here is like an alien language. Like, uh, like they don't understand. Like, what is this uh, old geezer talking about? What is this dinosaur talking about? <laughs> Hold on. Got it. Cool. Jump in. I'll definitely pick it up, guys. That's my Chris. Hey, you know what? Well, there you go. Let me go check it out. Give me one second, guys. I, I want to check this out, dude. Give me one second. Dude, this is so fucking cool. Arcade one up. Cool. Nice. They got the Pac Man, X Men versus Street Fighter. They got Golden Axe. Nice. Marvel Superheroes, Arcade Cabinet, Street Fighter, there's Street Fighter, this is it, bro, Street Fighter, Arcade Cabinet, Pac-Man, ooh, I'm definitely getting, I'll tell you what, I'm definitely getting Mortal Kombat and a Street Fighter. For sure. For sure. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade cabinet. Nice, dude. Star Wars Limited Edition. Seated arcade game. Nice, bro. But Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Nice. I'll have to pick one of those, man. <laughs> Rampage. They got the Rampage. Nice. 
Pac-Man Arcade, Mortal Kombat, Final Fight, Space Invaders. So cool, dude. Arcade one up. Thanks, man. I'll definitely check this out. Appreciate that. That's so cool, man. That is so awesome. And it's a what? Like a 24-inch monitor built inside, right? That's so cool. Nice. Nice. Well, there you go. That's that's maybe my Christmas wish. My Christmas thing. <laughs> Forget the PlayStation 5. Forget the X Series X. Arcade, baby. That's it. I'll put like a little camera behind me. Um, and uh, I'm going to put a camera behind me facing uh, the arcade machine. And I'm going to live stream that shit. <laughs> What is this? Hold on. Wonder if those buttons still work. I know, Santa. Push buttons, move platforms. The trolls, I'll give something for trolls to think about. Oh, now he's into the arcades. What does he know about the arcades? Uh, quite a lot. <laughs> I like that um, the Star Wars looks pretty good, man. It has a seat. Like, it's seated. Two people can sit on there, right? That one's good, too, man. Hold on. So that's the One Up Arcade. That's the name of the company, One Up Arcade. Oh, of course. You can't help yourself but just play. Um Nothing can change that. I mean, that was the uh, the core essence of gaming back then. Even before the consoles, you know, people got to remember, even before the consoles, it's either A, you're playing a pool table, or you're jumping on the arcade. So it was either that. When you go to a bar, right, it's either a playing a pool table, you know, or uh, playing uh, the arcade. Everything was so different. See, this is what um, what the millennials don't understand. This is what they're missing. Um, they're missing exactly that. Hold on. They're missing a that essence of s social experience in person. Instead of having a social experience through internet. Hold on. Here we go. There we go. What's that? Something's missing. I wonder if there's anything around that could help. Oh. 
Oh my God, Bloodsport! I remember seeing Bloodsport the very first time, dude. It made me forget about Chuck Norris. I was like, "What? Chuck Norris? Who?" I mean, I still watch Chuck Norris movies. I watch, uh, you know, uh, all of his other movies, including uh, the uh, the Delta Force and Delta Force Two and Missing in Action One, Two, and Three. But um, when the Bloodsport came out, I was like, "Who's this guy? Damn!" This guy from Belgium, this guy named Jean-Claude Van Damme. I was like, shit, yeah. That's his, That's how he became famous. Uh, if it wasn't for the blood sport, Jean-Claude Van Damme wouldn't have the career that he has now. There's no question about that. If it wasn't for a Terminator, Arnold wouldn't have the career that he has now. Obviously, the movie Terminator opened the doors for him to jumpstart his career. Same thing with Van Damme. Uh, doing that movie opened the door for him to move in and start jump his career as well. Oh, the movie's in the 80s. Oh, are you kidding? The movie's in the 80s, early 80s, inspired so many video games. Big time. Big time. Oh, look at this. Got some gear. Yes. You know, Steven Seagal... Don't get me wrong, sure. Aikido, that he does Aikido, the whole thing, you know. All that whole thing. Listen, I get it. Fine. But the problem with him is I always felt Steven Seagal was full of Steven Seagal. And, um, like, he's best at everything. Uh, he's best. Whatever he does is the best, and that's it, you know. Um, he made some good movies here and there, okay? Above the Law was great, probably one of his best, Above the Law. But uh, I felt that his ego started tripping. He started tripping on his own ego. And his own ego pulled him down with the ego. And now he's a big, giant, walking ego, you know? You know, and uh, he has the dual passport. He's Russian and American, so he's a dual citizen. So I guess he makes movies in Russia. I think mainly he makes movies in Russia, in Europe, Czech Republic, uh, Balkans region, Croatia. Uh, that's where he's making his movies. They go straight to uh, television, straight to streaming, DVD, Blu-ray. Like, uh, you're not going to see his movies, like, on a, on the big screen and stuff like that. But some people say that he's also a reserves, on reserves, deputy. Um, and some county in Louisiana, uh, that he's a sheriff. Uh, I think there was a TV show where they show him being a sheriff on reserves. I don't know, man, how much to believe. Uh, uh, it could have been staged. It could have been something that the TV show made a deal because A&E had a good relationship with the law enforcement. And they could have put him in there, make it look like... Uh, maybe he... Look, maybe he did. Maybe he is the off-duty, uh, on-reserves, on-call deputy. I don't know. Maybe he is. Uh, I don't want to judge the guy because I don't know. Maybe he is. But, uh, like, what happened? Like, uh, why aren't you in Louisiana? Why are you in Russia? Like, why don't you come to Louisiana? Why don't you serve the county? Why don't you serve the city? Why don't you help New Orleans? 
Uh, I mean, don't you care? Aren't you supposed to be, you know, protecting your fellow? I mean, aren't you supposed to be supporting your fellow deputies? Uh, how are you going to support them when you are in Russia shaking hands with Putin, making movies there? So, come on, man, you know. Uh, they're not feeling your support when you're out in Russia shaking hands with Putin, yet you're not in Louisiana being a deputy. So I don't know. I mean, look, I don't know what to believe when it comes to Tim and Segal. Uh, he's an enigma to me. <laughs> uh, but one thing I know for sure, he's full of himself. Uh, that's for sure. Resistance anywhere. Hulk must have scared him away. Better yeah, man. Um, and he can barely run. And he's always like the last guy to show up. He shows up. He shows up once they got the guy in custody. Once they, once, once they uh, got the guy on the floor with the handcuffs and everything, they checked him to make sure that that person doesn't have any weapons. They already got him uh, detained. Uh, not in custody, but detained. So he shows up, he comes out. Once they got the guy detained, there's like four deputies, they already detained the guy. They checked his pockets and everything, and now he shows up. You know, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing that. It's, it's so so fucking ridiculous, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was really cringy. It was really uh, cringe. Uh, I, I remember watching. I was watching that show just for the goof, just for 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 fun. But it was so cringy, man. You know. And then he says, "I want you guys to come to my gym." I want to teach you some new techniques. These new techniques can save your life. So I'll need you to come tonight. You know, and the way he brings himself up. You know, it's like, whatever. <laughs> China Salesman. I got to see that movie. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure he can take care of himself. He can handle himself. He can fight. I'm not saying that the guy doesn't have any skills. Of course he has skills. Of course he can whoop ass if he needs to. But um, there's a little bit of bullshit there uh, with what he's selling. You know, That's what I'm trying to say. You remember when they went to the shooting range and he's like this, you see, I'm going to hit that target right in the hole 15 times. Okay. Okay, Mr. Steven Seagal, here's the problem with that. Here's something that not just Steven Seagal, but even... Joe Rogan, John Wick, and Tim, uh, Tim Kennedy are not talking about. In a real combat situation, in a real firefight situation, the targets are not standing still. They're moving. And you got to be very careful how you shoot. Because you got pedestrians, you got civilians, you got too many problems in surroundings of the rural areas where people live. So you're just not going to do this. Pop, 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 pop. You're not going to do that. The targets are moving. You got to conserve your bullets. You got to know you got that target. 
at the site correctly at that that moment that 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 one second in a real combat situation the real firefight situation the targets are moving they're jumping around they're climbing they're they're going over the fence so i know it's cool to watch these videos you know to to measure how many seconds you can memorize the targets and do this and pop 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 I know it's kind of cool, it's kind of flashy, but in real life, that whole John Wick shit doesn't mean shit. Guys, movie is a movie. Real life is a real life. Okay? I've been through war five years. I know the difference between a movie and a real life. Okay? Law enforcement individuals, they know the difference between watching some bullshit movie from Hollywood and then the real life situation. The SWAT team, Special Weapons and Tactics, they know the difference between watching some bullshit Hollywood movie and then a real life situation. But no one talks about that. You know, it's like, uh, like Joe Rogan, you check me out. Pff, pop, 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 pop. 20 seconds. Okay, Mr. Joe Rogan, you can memorize the targets. You can see where they are. Can you see them in real life when they're moving back and forth, jumping in front of the crowd? Are you going to do that? And that pop, 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 pop? No, you're not going to do that. Pop, 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 pop. No. I'm not going to do that shit. <sighs> There's so much stuff that bothers me, dude. Like, when, when I look at today's... There's so much misinformation. And it's all Internet's fault. Ever since the Internet came aboard, guys, so much misinformation. It's, it's coming out. And these kids today, this generation, they think, oh, dude, this is cool, man. I can do this. You know... Because they don't understand the difference between the bullshit of misinformation that they see on a video and then the real life situation. And the consequences of the real life situation. They don't understand that. They don't understand the consequences. Uh, and it's that's why we got such a mess right now. Because kids are getting influenced. By misinformation, you know, by a lot of bullshit they see on, on, on the videos, okay? Dude, I want to be a Navy SEAL. I want to join, man. I want to go and see some fight. No, you don't. You don't. It's hell. It's fucking chaos. You do not want to be there. Not everyone can be a Navy SEAL. Not everyone can be a Marine. Not everyone, it's built for that. Psychologically, stress-wise, smart-wise, physically, not everyone is cut out to be that. It's hell. It's a fucking chaos of hell. You don't even remember what to tell your squad. Can they hear you? So loud, so chaotic. It's not like in the movies. This way, this way, come on, come on. It's not like that. It's very chaotic. Yes, we have, you know, communication, earpieces, we can talk. Uh, you know, staff sergeant can talk to their platoon, okay? Captain can talk to their platoon, to the staff sergeant as well. But the, here's the thing. It's still chaos. Even Jocko says it's still chaos. It's still chaotic. It's not all that gung-ho, yeah, G.I. Joe shit. It's not a G.I. Joe style shit. Okay? Uh, so that's my problem with, today, um, with today's... <sighs> advertisement of everything. Because everything's being advertised the wrong way. You know, oh, I want to be a police officer. Can you handle the blood? 
can you handle seeing uh, someone being shot, bleeding, and his intestines coming out, b- pool of blood squirting out as he's screaming? Can you handle that? Can you go back home and kiss your family and have a dinner after you just witnessed somebody die? Can you handle that? Can you handle that? Not everyone can handle that. Not everyone can, can be in that state of mind. takes a very specific kind of a person to do that job or to be a firefighter or to be in the Marines, to be a Ranger, to be a Navy SEAL. So when I hear Dan Bilzerian talk out of his ass, I know he's talking out of his ass, you know. And that's the problem, man, that, that I see today, man. Today, people just, they get influenced. I was unfortunate. I was unfortunate to see this stuff at a very young age, guys. I was unfortunate, but fortunate, but unfortunate to experience all of this at a very young age. During the siege of Sarajevo in Bosnia and Herzegovina in 1992, all the way through 1995. I have seen all of this front and experienced all of this front and center. Okay? And there's nothing glamorous about it. There's nothing cool about it. All right? There's nothing cool. There's no coolness about going to war or going to conflict. Nothing cool. It sucks. It's chaotic. It will fuck you up for the entire life. There's still people out there. There's veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan. They're still suffering. Mentally, they're suffering. They can't can't even sleep on the bed. They have to sleep on the floor. Do you know why they sleep on the floor? Because that's what they used to do. In the barracks, in the in the trenches, they will sleep on the ground on the floor. They can't sleep on a comfortable bed. It's a lot of stuff bothers them. When the guy drives with a motorcycle, they turn around, they freak out. When 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 the car makes a noise, they freak out, they look around. That's what that stress, shell shocking military experience will do for you it fucks you up for life your relationship everything you know and and i feel that not many people talk about this and i like jocko willing i like him but sometimes i feel even jocko it's glamorizing a little bit you know uh you know what i mean it's almost like he's trying to recruit people but he should tell also people hey this is not for everyone not everyone can be a military person. Not everyone can be a law enforcement. Not everyone can be a firefighter. This is a very difficult, difficult task for you to overcome. You know. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. <sighs> Let's continue. But what do I know? What do I know? I'm just a dinosaur. My time is up. What the fuck I know. I still haven't finished this game, Cameron. I still haven't finished it. Um, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so this is my very first boss with Camilla. Kamala. Kamala Khan.
Oh, this boss is hard. Hold on. But it really reminds me of Spider-Man, this game. I don't know why, but it just has that Spider-Man style to it for some reason. I mean... When you look at, for example, um, hold on, <clears throat> I was going to say something. Got him. Anyway, I was gonna say something. Um, yeah, you just what you just said there, Mr. Urban. You are gonna see some things out there, especially if you are, let's say, you are a police officer in New York City or Los Angeles, right? These big cities or Chicago, you'll see all kinds of crazy shit. You're gonna experience all kinds of crazy shit. Um, Especially now with all this craziness going on, okay? Uh, not everyone can do that job. Not everyone can, can mentally, psychologically, physically can handle that. Some people can, and kudos to them who can. But even those who can handle it still, it's not easy. Even they have to process. Uh, you never get used to it. I know I have friends who are law enforcement. I have friends who are military. You never get used to it. Yes, they get accustomed, accustomed to it, but you never get used to it. Same thing with the fire department. Pulling out that, you know, burnt bodies out of the car. Split in half with their belongings and everything in there. And then they have to go home eat the dinner with their families. How was your day today, honey? Well, let's not talk about it. I had to take I had to pull out four burnt bodies split in half. So that was how was my dinner? Let's have my dinner today, tonight. Can we please pass that salad? Imagine, I mean, just think about that. You just pulled four Burnt bodies, dead bodies, split in half. You pull them out of the, the car. Into the bag so they can be identified in the morgue through DNA process. If they can't find the, uh, you know, the license probably is burnt out. And then you come home and your wife's preparing a dinner. Your kid's coming to kiss you in your cheek. Hey, daddy, all this other stuff. And then you're trying to pretend that everything's okay. It was a good day. But in fact, in your head, you are just having flashbacks. Flashbacks of the four dead bodies that you just pulled out of the car. And these are the things, you, you know, that, you know, billionaires and millionaires, these people who are living in their beautiful villas, these politicians who are living in their beautiful villas, they don't deal with that stuff. They just talk and make laws. They don't, they're not in the front lines. They don't know what's going on out there. They haven't seen horrific shit. They haven't seen the crazy shit. They haven't experienced horrific and crazy shit. Okay? They don't know. Only those who are in the front line, boots on the ground, they experience that. They have seen that. Same with the ER, emergency ER, nurses, ER doctors, surgeons. They've seen all kinds of stuff. 
go to the ER and they have to deal with that. Okay? All kinds of stuff. So, you know, not everyone, not everyone, it's made out to be capable of pre performing that job that it's required of you to perform. And the movies, the TV shows, and these videos, they're just glamorizing and they're not really helping. Uh, they're misinforming you. They're misinforming you. Okay, these stupid TV shows you see, they're just misinforming you. They're not showing you what it's like. Because they can't. It's something you have to experience. It's something you have to be there, boots on the ground, front and center, to understand what it's like. Just like everything else. Oh yeah, I saw that too. You know, uh, That's what you got going on. Crazies, we got uh, two grown ass men, right? Both of them grown ass men. They're fighting over what? Two politicians, <laughs> and one lost his life, and the other one probably going to be in, in in jail for the rest of his life for the first degree murder. Okay, because I don't know if he can defend uh, with the plea that he's going for. I don't think they'll let him off the hook. He'll probably do thirty years maximum. Um, there goes your life. 30 years, piss down the fucking toilet. If you even make it 30 years. Um, and for what? Because of a politicians who don't give a fuck about you. They never did. They never will. The other guy's a billionaire. Doesn't care. Only cares about himself. And the other guy's been in the uh, 47 years. Been in the public office. Only cares about himself too. But he's willing to lie to you to tell you what you need to hear because he's a career politician. Just like the other chick, career politician. She, puts more, she put more people in jail because of marijuana than anyone else, period. But you're going to protest and you're going to fight because of these two, these two choices. They shuffle every four years. That's what you got. Every four years, they're shuffling the shit. You only got two choices. That's it. They both smell the same. They have a different color. One is red, one is blue. But they both smell the same. There's no third choice. It doesn't exist. You only got two choices. So you want to fight over that? Be my guest. It really just it just shows me just like uh, how naive and brainwashed people are that they can't really think for themselves to say, hey, this is stupid. What am I doing? This individual doesn't care about me. He's not going to fix my problems. You know who's going to fix your problems? You! You who's going to fix your problems. He's not going to fix your problems. They can't fix your problems. Only you can fix your problems. Because they are your problems. You can't fix my problems. Do you know why? Because they are my problems. But anyway, let's continue. What do I know? What do I know? Apparently nothing. Apparently nothing. Who am I fighting now? Jesus, what is this? Hold on. Oh my god. What the That was like straight out of uh Straight out of that Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. It's all bullshit, man. 
I mean, think about it. What is the point of you voting when delegates... Hey, let me just end the argument right now for all of you who are watching. Electoral college. Uh, voting system. What is the point of you voting if delegates, delegates who are paid for, bought for, by whatever party, can decide which state wins for that can for that candidate that's running delegates can supersede your vote if the delegates can supersede your vote <laughs> what the fuck you don't have to be a brain surgeon you don't have to be a scientist to figure this shit out even a, a five-year-old kid would say well i'm not gonna play this game this is stupid if the delegates delegates can supersede your vote in Florida, which they will, which they will, don't worry, they will, and this guy will get reelected. If you got delegates in each state paid for by Congress and others, whatever party, Republican or Democrat, if they decide, <laughs> if they make a decision... It could be one state. It could come down to one state. And that one state, the delegates say, okay, we're going to help. We're going to help out. And we're going to reelect this guy. So why don't you change the, the, the voting system? Why don't you do that? Do that. Then you can say, my vote counts. It's bullshit, man. It's all bullshit. George Carlin said it the best. It's bullshit. It's bad for you. It's bullshit. Let me grab some drink. It's bullshit. He's my only hero, honestly. George Carlin uh, was a modern prophet. He really laid out everything. He told us how it's going to be and what's awaiting for us in the future. He spit it out since 1999. Since, 19, since 1990. Since late 1980s, early 1990s early 2000s he laid it out for us he told us exactly hey guys hey folks it's a big club and you and i we ain't in it it's a one big fucking club and you and i ain't in it but anyway what do i know You know, I always, I always thought that uh, the internet and the access of information, access, access of information, would make people maybe smarter, smarter. But I realized something interesting: that the internet and the access of information made people more stupider, more stupider. And more divisive. It made people go backwards. Not forward. That's another thing I realized. And it's sad. But it is what it is. Okay so Hulk is helping me. That's so nice that he's doing that. Where's Hulk? What the hell? Come on, Hulk. Yeah. 
You think I let you do this on your own? Go around drawing people's I, I, I know, I know. Under normal circumstances, no, but these aren't normal circumstances. Holy crap. Dr. Banner? Oh, no. Um, Highway 9, Highway 9, he's going 20 miles to Highway 9, I'm taking Highway 9. It's Joel, man. Joel Miller. Just too sorry. What are you talking about? I've spent. A lot of time. Um, as the as the big guy. So. How long have you been here? Uh, a, a few years. Yeah. I've been told. So, this is why aimbots chase a kid into the desert? Not exactly. I kind of stole something off of AIM's server. Huh? <laughs> what? Why? Uh, why? I know, I know, I know, okay? I, just, I think you should see for yourself. It's Tarleton. Yeah. Why are you shutting down the security protocols? Did, did he just... Right? Right? That's what I thought. Fully locked the cap in the reactor room, and then he tried to jack the chimera. That's a bit of a stretch. We know that the reactor was malfunctioning, <laughs> so it's possible Cap asked him to shut down the security protocols and then lock the no, door. No, we've heard the A-Day testimony tons of times. Tarleton and Monica were on the command deck when the explosion happened, and that's why they barely survived. But this proves that Tarleton was nowhere near the command deck when the explosion happened. This proves he was lying. So, where's the rest of it? It got bumped off. <laughs> the rest of the footage got corrupted. Yeah. Look. What if the Avengers were set up? Okay. Tarleton, AIM, the so-called cure? It's just not lining up. There's something wrong, and I can feel it. Don't you? Here, I thought you were just some nosy little thief trying to make off a cap shield. So? I was thinking. Couldn't Mr. Stark help us with this? I mean, the whole mainframe was built on his technology. Um, if anyone could get us in, it could be him, right? Yeah. There is a bus stop off Highway 9. You're going to keep heading west. And then when you do, we'll take you to some old friends who can help. Maria's good people. Tell her I sent you and uh, just show her all of this. Oh, man. It's... I don't know if, if this was done by coincidence... I don't believe in coincidence. I, I think this was done on purpose to have Kamala Khan character that would resemble uh, the uh, Ellie. That would be something as close to Ellie. And then you got, um, of course, Mr. Hulk, uh, Bruce Banner, that would resemble it. Uh, Joel Miller. So pretty much this is like so in resemblance to Joel Miller and Ellie. And he even sounds like 
uh, Joel Miller because that is uh, the actor, the voice actor, obviously, uh, who voiced Joel Miller. I just find it like not coincidental that they did this. You saw the video. You I'm know something's not right. Sorry, here. I can't help you. I wish I could, but I can't. But you're Dr. Bruce Banner. You're one of the greatest minds of our time. Greatest minds? Look at you. Look at what we did. You have no idea how dangerous it is. Carlton calls people like me inhuman. He claims we're sick, violent, demented. You never know, Urban. That could be it. There's always an Easter egg in every game, in every movie, there's an Easter egg. Something that uh, you missed or didn't see. Guess I'll find Mr. Stark myself. Wait, just... You think I'll let you do this on your own, Ellie? <laughs> You'll need a ride. Really? <sighs> oh, come on, dude. What a... Oh, come on. Dude, this is like, uh, okay, what does this remind you of? No, I mean, really. What this reminds you of? When Ellie and uh, Joel, they're driving in the first game. They're driving to, uh, to meet his brother. Remember? To, uh, to go drive out to that mountain to meet his brother. So this is so resembling to uh, The Last of Us. They're, they're paying an homage to The Last of Us here. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine, you know. I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with Mamba. Where did he go? I don't see him on Twitter. I don't see him on Discord. I don't know what's up. I hope he's okay. You know, that's all I can hope. Tony stashed most of his stuff here when Stark Industries went under. And if anyone knows where Tony is, it's Jarvis. This trail should take us to the Archive's secret entrance. Cool. Well, it's a nice day for a hike. Yeah, that's the spirit. So Back this is there. basically yeah. where... Um, yeah, practically invisible. This is basically where... The demo of the game, the playable demo. You see how far the playable demo was? So far out, man. They didn't show you. Uh, they really did a good job on uh, like a playable demo. Because they open beta playable demo. Because they really didn't want to spoil too much. And they didn't spoil practically nothing. I love it too. Well, let me see. Well, gentlemen, it's been almost four hours, and uh, I'm going to have to obviously get going. Uh, I wasn't even thinking about doing a live stream this long for four hours. 
But it was an interesting live stream. You know, we talked about a bunch of different things, uh, interesting stuff, both games and other things. So uh, I thought it was pretty good. You know, something for everyone, I guess. Uh, but I got to keep the member chat uh, as it is. I got to keep the member chat uh always on at all times why because i just don't have um i have a zero tolerance for stupidity for clowns hiding behind the keyboards uh, i don't have time for that uh, i'm not gonna play that game um you know i prefer it this way you know unless i have like camera in d in 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 the chat room and then he's here, and then I don't have to worry about it. He'll just take care of the problem. But uh, for the most cases, I'll try to do it in a member member chat. You know why? Because it's it's annoying uh, to deal with the bullshit. You know, and it's gonna be annoying to you guys to read the bullshit with p people are typing down there. Uh, Meaning that I won't be able to see your comment because some guy is spamming nonstop, you know. But anyway, this works. Um, NVIDIA broadcast works, and it works fairly good. I like it. Uh, I was really surprised that we can do this without a, without a green screen. Like, I'm doing this without a green screen. And it gets the job done, you know. Um, it works quite well. I'm not even in my office. I'm not even in my studio. So this is like a backup thing I can do. Like if I ever can do it in the office or if I have to do it here, uh, this is a good like a backup thing to do a live stream. You know? But it works. What I'm trying to say, this works. You know, I just can't believe it's been four hours what games did we play? Gran Turismo, NBA 2K, and we played this. This is the uh, the Avengers. Yep. And it's been four hours already. Jesus. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right, guys. So I got to get going. Uh, Urban, Cameron... Mamba, I mean, Mamba wasn't here, but uh, Brendan, thank you for being here. Uh, and for the rest of you guys out there, become a member. Become a member. I mean, you made it this far. You didn't bail out. You made it this far. Uh, why not become a member? Why not become a member? But remember, just because you become a member doesn't mean that you have a, a free pass to spam or a free pass to harass or to troll you don't have that license okay just keep that in mind thank you mr urban thank you cameron it's really simple life is not that difficult don't be a cunt and you'll do just fine so just don't be a cunt look at that alexa has heard me when i said cunt she woke up immediately. No, no, listen. She says, I cannot, cannot connect to your Wi-Fi network because I called her a cunt. See? <laughs> See what happens? That's what happens. It's a very powerful word. And I don't want to use it. I don't like using it, but it's a very powerful word. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you. Cheers. Always a pleasure.